Liv Trans and Prosper. Hi, I'm Professor Brian David Phillips. I'm your dungeon host, and this is Fendalin, Land of Opportunity. Let's get right to it, okay? Take it away, Michael. Welcome back to Fendalin, the Land of Opportunity. In our last episode, the party had gone in search of treasure to the old ransacked and deserted town of Coneyberry, where they didn't actually find any treasure but they did run into someone fleeing from the east. And this guy came and said that he needed help because their, the <laughs> farmhouse where he resided at was attacked by orcs. So now the party is on their way to Butterskull Ranch to try to help out and save the people who are there. Um, and so, to begin this episode, the party is approaching the Butterskull Ranch. They're going along the Triboard Trail, and they can see they're kind of at the es the edges of the farm now. And uh, we have a new player with us today, and that's Tim Fox, and he's playing the PC Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, the bard. If he's got that accent, he's got to be an old Carolyn. Is he... Is Carolyn. Is right. he and sweet? so as you're as you guys are approaching Butterskull Ranch, you see that there's a plumes of smoke rising up from some burned buildings. But right now you are like um way across on the other side of the farm. It's like a couple hundred yards away. Um let's say it's like maybe five hundred yards or more. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yeah, you're about 400, 400 to 500 yards away from the farmhouse or away from where you see the, the fires. So um, we can see your... Carolan? No, no. And so you, you see that the farm is situated in kind of a valley between two hills. And so to the south and north, there are hills rising up. Um, right now, you are kind of like, uh, there's like an orchard um, of trees that, that's blocking your view of most of where the damage has been done. And they're like big corn fields um, in front of you. <laughs> and O'Carolyn, oh, you are at the top of one of the hills to the south. Um, and you had kind of a late start since you were carousing last night and um, you slept you on the other side of the farmer's hill. Farmer's daughter, she was something. We met on the mountain, but then when she saw the flames, she had to go back home. I just wondered, are they smoking a pig or something out there in the mm. farm? Bad guy. Right, and so now uh, this is where you are, and so let's start and you guys can do whatever you want. Can we see him on top of the hill? Because we're down, we can see up. Um, I don't think so. It's, he's kind of like in the middle of the hill. And, I'm not much more, you know, so I'm not that tall. Yeah. And so from the top, oh, Carolyn, you could see people coming up the road. So you have like a good vantage point you know, quite far up the road. Okay. I seize them. What do I do to them? Well, that's up to you now. And so how about like before you guys start moving, let's like not move, Brian. Um, <laughs> and we'll just let, hey, who's Brian? let uh, you know, mm -hmm. let's just say, say that, you know, oh, Carolyn, you see people that are up the road. They're actually quite a far distance away. And mm -hmm. so is there anything that you want to do as you see them approaching up the road? I cannot tell if they're allies or enemies, and I don't trust many people. Can to he tell the see? Truth. Can he determine the race from where he's at? I mean, we got a couple tall guys and a couple short guys. Yeah, you see, like some taller guys and some. There's only one shorter guy, I believe. Oh, you're right. Two. So yeah, there's like one shorter guy. Um. Hmm. One shorter guy and a bunch of taller guys. So I, I don't know if I should shout out to them or if I should hunker down so they don't see me, but I do see that 
the farmhouse is smoking and I don't know if they're smoking a pig or if there's a big trouble at the farmhouse. So I hunker down and start squirming me little way towards 40 feet hill, which looks like the same direction that the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, six people are heading. Okay, so if you want to, then, oh, Carolyn, you can move your character in the direction that you want to move. Okay. I've got stubby little feet, so that's as far as I can go. Okay, and so um, normally you can move, like, a number of squares. Like, uh, normally a square will be five feet. These are and so feet. you can move, like, five squares return for if you're a dwarf and six squares if you're like a larger creature um i'm a dwarf so five so is that yeah occurring? but over here it's like we're not gonna like if you only move like squat five squares a turn that's you can only move half a square on this map and so you can move like five normal squares um and so now you're at this point you see the party coming coming onto the map now at the bottom of the hill and right. so so if the the main party and O'Carolyn, you can both move, you know, it's like one square in the direction that you want to move. And so main party, okay. one square? Yeah, just like move one square in the direction that you want to go. Hey, but I'm going to be singing a dwarf song while I go. So yeah. everyone did their move? So like, like... We see um no, silly wanker and I see, Baldwin is move. Baldwin is way ahead of everyone else. Because Baldwin is impatient for dwarf blood. Oh, I mean sorry, oh, no. orc blood. blood. I misspoke. Uh, you just made me suspicious, laddie. You uh, didn't hear me, me say too. that. Well, behind him. With an axe. I've I mean, we should him and ask him what happened. We just assume he's from the area and he's not an all. We don't see I mean, him do you yet, see... evidently. Yeah. I mean, you're uh, kind of up yeah. the hill. It's not like it's a pasture or anything. So there'd be bushes and stuff like that. Mm. So it's... Okay. And it depends, so like, are you... That. And so the question for you guys are, are you focused directly on the farm and just heading right towards there? We're or are right... you trying to move... We're heading yeah, there, sure. focused, but we're looking around because we don't know where the orcs are. We would yeah. want to be yeah. searching intently we're, to make sure we're not ambushed like we were last time. We're helping yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah, you're helping Kinkle. So anyway, so Kinkle is like telling you like, you know, where the farm is. And basically he's saying it's like, you know, you're at the outskirts of the farm. How about everyone, like, just, like, make another move where you want to go? You just, like, move, like, two squares or so, in whichever direction you want to move. And how about if you're, like, the party, kind of, like, bunch up around Baldwin, who seems like he's charging ahead? That would be more than two squares, but sure. Yeah, just, like, like try to catch up. And... There we go. Yeah, and so we just like have like Baldwin or whoever wants to go first move, and then just everyone just like. I don't want you to throw me out of the game. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh, Carolyn, are you doing anything? Yeah, he's moved closer to them, still hiding behind the bushes. You see. Okay. All right. So, how about the party? Main party can make a move too. Ball and go first, cause you know. But I don't know if they're gonna be taking the road or cutting through the cornfield. Well, Hinkle can tell, tell us. us. Yeah. Ask Hinkle what would be the quickest route. Well, you know, the road leads directly to the farm, but it's wide open, and you can be seen from hundreds of yards away. I agree. We should go through the cornfield. Okay, you lead. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. Yeah, I still have to follow. In fact, it be <coughs> might be prudent that we spread out. Well, we a just little. got attacked by a dragon. Well, we don't want to spread out too much. We we do want to help each yeah. other when we get nailed. 
Maybe half go up no, on, uh, half go up this path, and the other half come to this path over here. We move up this way to the orchard. Yeah, it's uh, kind of late autumn here too, so the corn is pretty high. Mm. I know so it hides a lot corn, of activities. It does the corn. The corn field. The corn is is you know is pretty tall, so it provides a lot of cover if you're going through the cornfield. And then there's an orchard. You can see trees beyond the cornfield. Just want to put a special word out and keep an eye out for anyone who looks Amish. And if there are any, let's leave. <laughs> okay, so Carolyn, are you doing anything? He's moving closer. He's staying stealthy. He's watching what they're doing. They're, they seem to be splitting up, but they're heading to the farmhouse. So, uh, Eisensprite, Abiona, are you guys doing anything? Uh, I mean, it's so. like, if you want to move, then just, like, decide which way you're going to go. Hmm. Hey, uh, and, hey, oh, Carolyn, are you going to do any kind of move? Familiar? Since you said that's useful, can I find familiar now? <laughs> Do you have 25 gold pieces to spend on uh, I think so, but I, uh, okay, I have to buy the things beforehand. No, I cannot. I didn't buy the things beforehand. What is the list that I need to buy? And, and again, this is why you should pay attention to your character sheets. <laughs> well, you're asking a lot from us. We have lives, you know. <laughs> Well, they are old. No, no, we rather have you. You explained everything to us. Cause, cause it's All right. Um, do you, you guys want to make a perception roll? He's <laughs> asking a lot. Yeah. Okay, I, I'll do it next time. I just assume I'll buy it in the okay, next time. Uh, my perception is a nineteen. Anyone else want to roll? Baldwin, you seem like. You notice there's some movement up on the mountain, up on the hill, uh, what towards the movement? east. Yeah, I should be able to stand him because I, that's my favorite terrain is the forest. Yeah, so anyway, so, so did you roll, Abiona, did you roll your perception? Not yet. All right, so perception. Baldwin, you notice that there's some movement you know, in the bushes, you just think in the that bushes? there's where it's off to the east here in the mountains. You know, kind of look at the bottom of the, the foothill, um, and it's like not the kind of movement that would be from wind. Well, then. Uh, so, Abiona, you never rolled. Not yet. I, I let them roll first. <laughs> if you don't want to roll, then you. Don't uh, get a chance I have to a notice plus anything. Four, right? If I do that, just roll go ahead two. and roll. Okay. Uh, let me roll then. Okay. Since no Yeah. One. So Eisen Sprite and Fjord, you are just heading in the direction okay. that you're heading. Uh, I guess I I must be drunk. I only have four plus. Yeah. Four. So anyways, <laughs> obviously that all of you are taking the road that's more to the west. And so you are not in any position to see around the, the corner of the mount of the hill where Baldwin is. And so Baldwin notices some movement coming from the I east, but no one else signal. does. I will signal to my errant friends that there's movement to the west. I mean, through the, the cornfields? To, 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 yes. I'm, I, I, I'm very the, the good at it. The top cornfields, you're going you're gonna to signal. Us. Yes, through uh, the cornfield. I am very yeah, good at that. Like I've spent a lot of time in cornfields. Do you oh, have yeah. any other way of contacting each Hello. other? Yeah, yes. we're going to be lost. Uh, well, we have to follow the, our guy, I guess. It, it, so um, there's some roads, there's some paths through the cornfield. He, Baldwin is just like walking through the cornfields, but it seems like everyone else is following that path. That silly wanker is taking no, out. But do you follow, have. Hinkle is like behind because he's scared. But, you know, 
he's telling the way, right? the way. Yeah. He's just like in the back, but he's saying just head that way. So do you have any other methods of keeping in contact with each other since Baldwin is off there alone and out of sight? Only a little yeah. five feet away. We could actually no, link he up is a hundred feet away. Okay. Hundred feet. Can he send messages back? Each square is fifty feet. So you can see Baldwin's at least fifty feet from Abiona and almost a hundred feet from Sillywanker. Okay, I and he's like hundred and fifty feet from Hinkle. Okay, that's not so, too far. I'll go ahead and shout it out. <laughs> <laughs> so silly wanker, you have telepathy. Can they reply yes. back? Yes, or is it I just one way? But me and Brian, I mean, me and Baldwin would have to link up at first, but we yeah, never did that. We didn't do that. Do you okay, have any will... other ways of contacting each other? Okay, it's only 100 feet, so I will stage whisper. There's movement over there! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, so, so again, do you have that. any other <laughs> method of contacting each other? Oh, uh, we don't, because if we did, we got it. Yeah. That you got from the, the gelatinous cube in Ochre Jelly Temple? Yeah, somebody has some items. Somebody has a, a magic yeah. item from the loot Do we list. have a magic item? But I don't Who remember. Who took the it. earrings? Someone have a magic flute? Okay, so yeah. anyways, it looks like nobody kept the earrings or you sold them off or something. I, I, I have officially whispered to my friends in a stage whisper that will ha go 100 feet. In the rule book. And what are you, yeah. so Baldwin, what are you whispering to people? There's movement over up uh, there. Over Towards there the in the east. The it evil. may be an orc. Get ready to flame strike it. it. Before it gets closer. Pull out my oh. war hammer axe thing. All right, so are you guys, so again, make your move. If you're moving. So now, Carolyn, you see people heading into the fields. And I, when they're in the cornfields, you won't be able to see them anymore. I see the corn is shaking is what I see. So I know where they yes. are. Yes, exactly. And I'm approaching, approaching slowly okay. because if they were orcs, okay. they'd be marching right at me. I stopped so, my movement. No. I mean, Hanko knows Carolyn, no. or not? No, no, no. Nobody. He's just Nobody. a random. Nobody knows dude. Carolyn. Because he's an They're bringing me in the game. This is my Lorraine. First clear your <laughs> dice tray. Hmm. But basically, just a passerby. You don't, you guys, Abiona, you're in the cornfield and you actually don't even know what's going on. You just know that Baldwin says there's movement in the okay. bushes from the east. But uh, if it, there's an orc or many orcs around, I can sense them, right? Because I can smell them. How about that? Oh, magic one disappeared. You rolled your. That's you kind of a racist thing. Hey, what happened to me? Oh. Abiona, you wrote a four or something on your perception. You don't notice anything except there's a lot of corn around you. All right, so if you guys want to make a move, then please make a move. I followed yeah, I uh, kind of, uh, to him. <laughs> Sorry, a fjord? I heard his voice, so I moved closer to him. Well, I tried to. stick to... Hinko here. He knows the way. Actually, no. I'm not going that direction. I'm going to go this direction and kill the thing in the bushes. <laughs> we, I just met up again because I moved right where you just moved. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys all want to move a square, go ahead and move a square. There's movement over there. Let's go check it out and <laughs> kill the orc. 
Yeah, I'll come back I out. Or I hate orcs. Oh, so we have to tell Hinko to follow us? Uh, this time to wait on. Just wait for us. We'll be right back. We're going to check it out. And he's afraid he probably would follow us. I so. just say, why don't you stay Let's with him? The orc over here first. Let me just check it out. Do we see him now? They see me. They're coming for me. But they don't oh, look like orcs. That's not an orc. So yeah, so you're about 150 feet away from Those each other now. Orcs. We can determine from 150 feet if it's an orc or a dwarf. Even yeah. though they're very similar. <laughs> He's a little short <laughs> for an orc. I'm very I'll short. I'll go out in dwarvish. Hello, friend. Wait, I have to check. I do speak dwarvish. You're a dwarf. You speak dwarvish. In dwarvish, yeah, there's actually different um, kinds of dwarves. Tribes. Common dwarf. Yeah, you have mountain dwarf and hill dwarfs. And so, you know, it's like, you know, Swedish and Norwegian. Which can totally but talk to each other. The endorphins start going through our bodies so we can pretty much understand, though we don't. It's like Cantonese and Chinese. Wait, you Chinese. say endorphins? No, no, no. no. It's, it's yeah, more like, you know, yeah, like. Endorphins. New Jersey and New York, or something like that, or, or more uh, like or Spanish or, from or Spain like, and Spanish from Mexico. They can talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, because you, you know, New Jersey, you, New York, it's only a difference between a fuck you and fuck you too. You know. Um, <laughs> oh, I say, peace, peace. No fighting with me, brothers. No fighting with me, brother dwarves. Okay. Hello there. Friend, fellow dwarf. Hell, oh, Carolyn here with me, little tiger. Go away. Um, what, a, what do you, you hear? Talk? What, what stand ye with the fire in yon farmhouse? Here to help people. A friend back here, Hinkle, has brought us forward to help. We've been attacked by. Dozens and hundreds of orcs. <laughs> hundreds and, and hundreds. And Hinko says, Hinko comes and says, Will you help us too? The farmhouse, my boss, Big Al. Orcs have attacked us. They've been killing us. I was able to escape, but they're all probably dead by now. And what of Big Al's daughter, little Alicia? Is she in the farmhouse too? I don't think that we know anybody named Alicia. I don't think Big Al is ever going to have a daughter. Yeah. You mean I was with Alicia last night in the cornfield? Must be from I a different farm. Daughter. I think there was a cow named Alicia. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a cow named... <laughs> and he goes, wow. yeah, yeah, actually, we did have a cow named Alicia. We had, like, a, a bunch of cows. You know, milk she, cows. It was moose. It was a big guy. <laughs> I was with a wee lass, but instead I found out I was a heifer. Oh, what a heifer indeed. Okay, heifer or completer, let's go see what's happening at the farmhouse. If ye be men of honor, do ye of be... Of course. Be close to it. Yeah. And Maybe I not. Send, honor adjacent. I send me alliance of peace with ye. Hang on, I read names. Honor adjacent. Arg. Mr. Freard. Abiona, hey, put down that arrow, please. Okay. How do you know her name? It's on the <laughs> yes, actually, I tell you, oh, you yeah. have a perception of six cents. I have a six cents. Because the only name we have. Um, do we have it around on that? Formally. Dungeon well, okay, we'll formally introduce ourselves so we know each other's name now. Okay, so go ahead. Or my name is Ford Prefect. I am a hill dwarf fighter. Good I to am meet you, Baldur Kerfuffle. We're in the middle of something. Maybe you can help us. You go first. I can go first. I can lead the way. I've been to the farmhouse before with that heifer lass. Oh, this and guy's eyesight might be back there. 
Eh? I see what anyone else you? introducing themselves, or do you uh, want to just go on? Okay, I'm Abiola. Uh, I'm the only sane person of this group, probably. It's true. It's so true. With me, Abiola. You'll still be the most sane in the group, I'm afraid. I am Eisensprite. I'm a monk from the deep water area. Last of the... Last of my kind. <laughs> Good to meet you, Mr. Sprite. <laughs> okay. But we, we have a common enemy, so I think we can uh, go in together. I uh, lead the way, it seems, because I've been to the farmhouse before. Hinkle, do you want to go before or after? Has he been to this farmhouse? <laughs> Yeah, I've been nobody's to the been, let's, let's say that nobody's been to the farmhouse. I've I've so, been in the no, or Carolyn. Let's say that you were coming from from the south. Hi. He, so, he's a traveling bog. Maybe like years ago, he's been there. I think he's a compulsive oh, you know liar. So he may be a uh, Republican uh, representative candidate. Oh, yeah. All right, so you know that this, you've heard stories about this farm that they make excellent butter and they shape the butter into skulls, skulls. and cover it with wax. And so that's why it's called butter skull. They make these skull shaped hunks of butter. Or they Ooh. move the, the butter into skulls. And so that's like their, their famous product. And actually, you. you know that Toblin Stonehill actually uses the, their butter too. It's like he imports it from this farm. It's and, delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> it has Dude, that as well. So, uh, so it's like, like specialty butter that they make here. Mm. All right, so now up to you. What do you guys want to do? Not die. Let, let's go to the farm. So how, how about if you jump closer not to not the, the farm not and see like where do you want to go, and let's like jump closer. So how about like take a so you're gonna go up the road. Let's, let's follow the road and go over here then. The yellow brick road. The do yellow we brick road. The yellow brick road. All right, so yellow you guys just want to go right up the road, okay? Down the road. Looking on it, pops. It's better than lost our way in the cornfield. That's stupid. How did you guys boo me for? Look at the cornfield. We can move each other. Yeah, you can move each other, but you know, so oh, silly wankers in the cornfield, and sorry. everyone else is just going straight up the road. I'm going straight right. up the road. Yeah. All right, let's jump to another map as you get closer. I'm gonna go follow. Silly wanker. Oh. Because we need to come up. I want to. Can see. Can see. <laughs> in the corn here, you can't see anything. The corn. Dark. Yeah, but we should. Nice um... What happened right, to the map? Let's get rid of this horse. You don't have the horse. We're going to get rid of the cart here. Okay. Map is still loading for me. Me too. Yeah, me too. Before the cart, get rid of egg. I got a rock. Charlie Brown's Halloween special. All right, so I'm going to put Fjord. I'm going to put you in the corn in the the cornfield over here, and everyone else is just on the road. I'm heading straight for the farmhouse. We're still waiting for the map. In the corn. Yeah. I think the map may be large. Big file. Mm -hmm. That yeah, large is that don't need. Here we it's go. It's even harder when. There we go. Not me, me yet. Yeah, yeah, almost. Five. Okay, four, I see a bunch of orcs, but three, I ah okay. Two. Nope. Where are we at like on the map? Oh, there it is. Magically. You guys should be at the bottom 
middle kind I of see it now. and then silly wanker is in the bottom more towards the middle right and so i have silly wanker in the cornfield and everyone else is just right on the road that's fine there's a farmhouse right there and so what you can see from well, here is that um as you're approaching the farmhouse you notice that there's a big fire towards the north of you yeah along the side of the lake and you see kind of like people moving around so you see some orcs and you see some humans okay we can and definitely are, are see like... that they're orcs and you see some are, you... are there dead bodies here that you're you see? working together do so you see like these humans humans are dressed kind of very bedraggled you know really crappy clothes um they have collars on you know metal collars right. and they're like carrying stuff towards the towards the fire where the orcs are right. like they're from sears they're from what clothing from sears <laughs> um, hand me down from sears you can afford it take it Oh, so how many orcs are there? How many orcs right are now, there? you can yeah. just kind of see, you know, maybe like four orcs or so milling around. Okay, I'm ducking okay. behind these trees so they can't see me. I can't see us. I'm going closer That's... to the edge, but still staying hidden in the corn. All right, so um, how about everyone roll a 20-sided die? And just let me see what you get. Don't want to lie. Oh, I see us. OK, I see where we are. Ooh, 19, oh. that's good. 16 for me. Two, Two for me. Two, got rock. <laughs> so silly winker. <laughs> I'm going to so. put you over here. Okay. Oh. What's going on? Um, hold on for a second. Just for a second. He, he's causing us so we can be attacked by the orcs. Very likely. He likes attacking us with orcs. How did we get over that stone wall? Carefully. Carefully. Stone wall, it's a stone path. Oh, okay. I like that house tiles. Dead horse. Did Michael make this art? Michael Scott, check your messages from somewhere. Okay. Um, That's the heifer I was living with last night. Right. His eyesight really is bad. Okay. I stay put. Brian, check your messages. How do you send messages? A oh, Facebook Messenger. I have to Michael, look Facebook. You, you mean the small, the small tree, right? Uh, by the cornfield. Okay. Um, that would be. Okay, directly to the, the directly to the to the east. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah about 50 feet to the east. Okay. Uh, I'm going to investigate. Uh, Eisen, well, let me send another message. Uh oh. What did Two you images do? of my phone screen disappeared. What happened? Two images on my phone screen disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens a that lot. That happens. Um, yes. It's based on the other people's um, internet. Okay. I, I swear my computer over here. <laughs> Sorry. And then, Paul, I also sent you a message. I'm getting a good view of the inside of Paul's ear. I don't know that you would ever call that a good view. Well, it's a Paul, pretty did clear... you see the message? He's like... He did. He did indeed. He did. Okay. Um, you guys going to do anything? Uh, as I said, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to draw my I'll short move. sword. Okay. I'm going to move a little closer, try not to be my discovered. My sword. Gonna watch them How all are you moving? <laughs> Silently, stealthily, Wait, what, what, slowly, what one square at a time. Uh, lumberingly. Okay. Okay, so uh, can you all clear your tray? And we'll let Silly Winker roll a 20. Um, so can you you clear your tray and Abiona clear your tray? Um, no. Silly Wanker, you are very stealthy. Cool. And as you get closer, you are sure there's something in the tree and you can see it. In the tree. One orc? Nothing. Nah, it's a... um, how about uh, so Baldwin? What are you doing? I said I was moving forward and... to investigate stealthily. You want to move? All right, can you roll yourself? And uh, Eisen's probably not. Do you want me to roll stealth? I'm just going to move. If you're just going to move, then just move. I I have yeah, moved so. very stealthily. How many squares at a time do we move? Here you can move um, your normal movement. One square oh. is five feet. Oh. One, two, three, four, I think my normal movement is 2,000 feet because I'm a monk. All right, so um, Eisen Sprite, or not Eisen Sprite, uh, Silly Wanker, you see that there's an orc archer in the tree. And he's oh, looking okay. at Baldwin. Am I close and to he... the up... so, far, so, Silly Wanker, you I? are about 20 feet away from it. I will fireboat him. Okay, roll. Five, ten, you have surprise. So I'll give you advantage on the attack. Okay. Roll a 20 sided die. 11's my high one. Oh, plus 2 to hit. Uh, 13. <coughs> Let me look for my. Where's my orc list? Oh, pl no, wait a minute. Not, uh, plus 5 to hit, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. 16. Sorry, where did the, my, uh... Where did my goddamn orcs go? I have like a whole printout. No, here it is. Uh, this one's Dave. Uh, Dave only has an AC of one and a uh, hit points of two. That you told right, me so that silly wanker. confidence. Uh okay. I should have hit him. What you what was your your attack? Sixteen. 
Yeah, you hit. And roll your damage. Eight. You did eight points of damage? Yes. And he's on fire. Trees. Okay. Uh, you see this bolt of fire. All right, so Baldwin and Eisen's Sprite. From the cornfields, you see this bolt of fire shoot out and hit something in the tree. Okay. Everyone roll a 20-sided die. Everyone? Everyone roll a 20-sided die. Thirteen. This is for initiative. So add your initiative. Add your initi initiative scores. We got the rock. We got ten. I got thirteen. So Cinemaker is ten. Who mm -hmm. had thirteen? Uh, me. Right, how <laughs> like, call Caroline. these off. Baldwin, what's your score? Twelve. Twelve. Fjord. Two. Two. Duh. Down there, Duh. Ice and Sprite. Seven total. Wow, you guys suck. Abiona? Thirteen. Thirteen. And O'Carolyn? Same, thirteen. I rolled the twenty-sided die. You have pluses sometimes. Yeah, you have a plus um, on your character sheet. O there Carolyn should be something that says... The drink. Initiative plus. There's oh, like something that says initiative plus zero. So you are a 13. So let's say Abiona is first, O'Carolyn is after that. So this is your initiative order. Abiona, O'Carolyn, mm -hmm. Baldwin, Silly Wanker, mm -hmm. Eisen Sprite, and Fjord. Okay. Did I see where it came from? What is the it? That you were talking about the fire, oh, the fire. I'm pretty sure that's silly wanker. Do you saw a fire come from the cornfields? From the cornfield. Okay, so okay, I know. So um, hold on. So all the people who are at 13, we need to roll again. We decided to die. Yeah. So roll, roll in. Everyone, clear your tray and. Aviona, O'Carolyn, and me. We're going to roll 20-sided dice. Uh, I'm 14 now. Six. And just, just don't add anything. Just, like, straight roll. Uh, 11, 11. And O'Carolyn, you were 6. So O'Carolyn is after Aviona. And I am before. And I need to roll another one. And I'm before. Well, sorry guys, but... You're not sorry. Doesn't look good for you guys. <laughs> okay, round one. Fight! You hear this big scream coming from the trees going, Ow! Fire! Somebody shot! No, actually, you don't hear that. You hear, No! It's not close to the moment! It's not close to the moment! Ah! Look at Look at You pronounced me wrong. That was very poor pronunciation. You see an arrow come out um, and it's going to head towards Baldwin. Well, that's rude. Uh, um, I, I, I would like to speak to your manager. Okay, my uh, AC is 18. 18 hits. No, you missed. Um, Where's the tree? And you took seven points. This, this oh, long arrow comes flying out of the tree, and it does seven points of damage to Baldwin. Okay, I'm pissed. I'm going to kill so him. Now we know where he's hiding. Because yeah, but he's shooting. He, he learned the other orcs, so you need to prepare yourself. The other orcs come rushing towards no, him. I'm going to kill him. You guys. All right. Um... Eisenstrike? Right? Right? Yeah, right it's 
Okay, Michael. Um, yeah. I can I hellish rebuke him as a reaction to him hitting me. Uh, what does the spell say? It says. Uh, can you hit someone that far away? Or oh yeah, does no have problem. To be within five feet. How far is he? I don't know the spell. You look he's, at the map. He's not, like he's, twenty feet away or so. I can hit feet sixty away. feet away, dude. Yeah. Okay. You're tough. So save. Sure. Save DC thirteen. Five. He failed. Well, then he's going to take a little bit of damage. So okay. it's uh, uh, 16 hit points. He plummets from the tree. And fuck him <laughs> and all of his children. And so can one of you draw like a red circle around him? Yes. Yes. If I did it with joy. Yeah. So he's okay, dead, dead, so... not wounded, dead. He's dead, dead. Well, good. He's, you, he's like lying at the bottom of the tree. There's like this burning patch still. What does a hellish rebuke do? Fire damage. damage does it do? Okay, so there's this smoldering body at the bottom of the tree that's twisted in a very odd angle. Ooh. I am okay nice. with that. I do right. not feel um, remorse. He's an orc. He deserved it. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, so you see two arrows. You see an arrow and a crossbow bolt come flying towards Eisen Sprite. Please clear your trays. So arrow misses. Crossbow. Where did the mini shoot, shoot from? Yeah, it's a well, hundred... Have... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty far away. Well, I don't know. It's I'm not high. 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, booted out somehow. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. yes. Hey. And I got Pete. What do you think? And... I just right. Oh yeah, Whoa. Pete is, is actually moving. So uh second roll was uh what was it? it is a fourteen. Does that hit you? Is that me? Yeah. Yeah yeah. AC AC fourteen. Or AC better. 14. I What's your AC? 15. All right, so Eisen Sprite, standing there, you notice that from your from behind you, these two air two things go whizzing by. One of them comes really close by your ear, and you just hear this whoosh, and it feels like you can feel the breeze as it whizzes right by your ear. Um, Etsy dog. <laughs> we see the slow motion video with the hair flowing behind. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Both of them. I don't know how the hell to read this. So uh, now we know where he's hiding, right? Can we wear a perception to decide? All right. Eight. This other arrow comes whizzing from the east and goes and it just almost hits Baldwin. From the it goes, east. Goes whizzing past Baldwin. Yeah, Something on the from right the hand east. Side. The arrow comes whizzing by from the east. I mean really far away. Like this tree here. There's, I don't see any orcs on the east side of the house. No, it's not going to show you yet. You have to find it. Okay. Uh, it is now Abiona's turn. Okay, I'm, can I roll a perception to determine where it's hiding? Where who is hiding? The one from the east. The, the archer. Sure. Okay, I'm going to roll again. 
Okay, I got it. So I got a tw uh, 18. There's something in the tree. The same the tree? tree? Is it the same tree? Which force? No. It went farther away. The one by the house? I see it. Yeah, the one by the house. So, Abby Ona sees that. No one else sees that one. All right, Abby yeah. Ona, are you going to do anything else? Or are you just going to like... Them, it, um, it came from the tree by the house, farther away. And that's it? Uh, can I do a... Uh, like a... Fire boat from that distance? What's well, the range? It's 120 feet. Yeah, that's fine. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120. You're just short. No, uh, you cannot do a fire bowl. Then I use the long bow, but I can't see him. That uh, What's the chance of hitting something? Uh, you are long range, so you have disadvantage on a shot with your long bow. Yeah, but I can't see the object. I'm just guessing. So, what's the chance? You just roll with disadvantage. That means you roll you two can... 20 sided die and take the lowest one. Okay, I'll, I'll try it then. <coughs> Let me know. Okay, I'm going to shoot an arrow into that tree, at least force him to, to dodge or, or curse or something. Okay. Force him to <laughs> die. Just force him to die. Okay. Okay, the first one's 18. Roll two dice. Roll uh, a second 17. dice. What is six, you... 17, one is 18. <laughs> yeah. um, far away, <laughs> you shoot this arrow and you hear this, ouch! <laughs> and roll your damage. 1d8 has three. Six. Six point of damage. Six, okay. Which one is that? It's the arrow. Okay. So now we know where uh, it is. It is now O'Carolyn's turn. I don't... I don't have many weapons or anything I could do, right? I need to get um, closer. Yeah. You so can you uh, can do... to him from a distance. <laughs> Quite far, and I am behind trees, so they don't see me. So I need to make my way closer to the orc thug. And... No, also you need to speak their language for them to understand you. He speaks orcish. Okay. Yeah. Actually, he doesn't. So, oh, Carolyn, oh, if you want to make a move, then make your move. Baldwin is next, okay? Yes. So, oh, Carolyn now, Baldwin is next. Sealy Wanker after Baldwin. So, oh, Carolyn, what do you want to do? I have moved one, two, three, four, five spaces uh, behind the trees. I okay, now make your move. In the trees, okay? Okay. And are you trying to, to are you trying to hide? Yes. Can you roll a uh, 20 sided die and let's see how good you are at hiding? Oh, I'm not very good. He's a chubby little thing. 13. Yeah. Uh, you know, it says I need saving throw 13. DC 13. No, I mean, do you have anything with stealth? Do you have a bonus to your stealth? If you look on the skills, it says stealth. I or... think it should be zero. Yeah, zero probably. Yeah, thirteen. Oh, I guess you're you're kind of hidden in the trees. Let's yeah. say right now you're hidden. All right, okay. Baldwin, your turn. Okay, I am going to. Well, I. I don't know. I know the guy is to the east, but I don't know where to the east. So I'm going to move. Uh, eastwardly, so I'm around the corner, so those guys can't hit me. And I'm going to hopefully draw that guy out so I can kill his ass. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to move over here. 
Okay. All right, uh, silly wanker. Uh, I am going to move. I'm going to move my 30 feet, I guess. Mm hmm. I've gone one, one crossed, and two over. Okay, I look like I still. Looks like those guys are still out of my sight, right? I don't see any. I can't see anybody behind this house, right? No, you can't see the guys to the northwest around the corner of the house. Okay, I just moved my 30 feet. Do you want to try to take a shot at the orc in the tree? Oh, there's another orc in the tree? Yeah. You heard him yell, ouch. I thought he killed them. I thought there was only one orc. There's another there's orc. There's, there's a different tree. Right side of blue tile roof. Which tree? Right side of the house. Stone path tree on the other on the uh, far side of the stone path on the right side of the blue tiled house. The one I thought that orc was dead already. I've been losing contact, so I'm kind of out of it. Or sorry, so Scott, if you look on the far right side of the map, <clears throat> yeah. right on the edge of the the right edge of the map. I got a question: map, Is Michael saying a tree. all along? Oh, okay. Uh... And so do you no, want to I... shoot at that guy before you make your move? Yeah, uh, yeah, let me shoot at that guy before I make my move. I'm gonna, right. I don't think a fireball will reach it, will it? Fireball would reach it from where you were originally. You could hit it with a firebolt. Yeah, 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 that's what I want to do. I'm just staying where I am and shoot at that guy. I yeah, so just I, go I, back I... into the cornfield. And... Okay. Okay, let me roll. Tim, can you clear your tray? I hit. <laughs> you hit him. Do you see this like blaze of fire go through the trees and roll your damage? Okay, this will be a lot. Five. Five points. And you see this guy yelling, and there's a lot of movement in the tree. You know, kind of like something is shaking. Maybe someone is like. <laughs> Trying to put out a fire. Okay. Um, it's now my turn. It's really quiet. Sorry. I have a stealth disadvantage. Hmm. Oh. That's right, because my armor clinkles and clankles. Hmm. But my weapon is a hammer, so I need to be very close. That's what she said. Do you get a bow or a crossbow? going on. Michael say anything? Right. No, no, I'm not saying anything. I was just moving some stuff around. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, now it is uh, Isaac Sprite's turn. Okay. All right. So, so the, the, the orc so the... died on his own? No, you just movement in the tree to the, you see there's like fire, you see kind of like there's something burning in the tree to the far right. And there's a lot of shaking in the branches. In, so a couple, in, a couple of missiles can whiz it over my shoulder from behind me? Yeah. From the west? From, from the, the west, north. right? From the north. From Some the north. arrows came whizzing by you from the north. Then I will move over putting the <laughs> building between me and the north. And uh, okay. I don't see an orc in the tree yet, do I? Oh, uh, you, you can do a perception roll. I'll do perception roll, see if I see that orc in the tree. I see. I heard like you have advantage. I heard him, I heard no, him you, yell. I, let's say you see him. Because you, there's yelling, there's a fire, and there's a lot of shaking in the branches. You can tell someone is in the tree. And he um, see, still seems to be alive. You can see he's trying to, like, put out this fire that's, like, burned into him. And there's kind of, like, branches around him that are 
You know, it's just. I'll throw a shuriken at him. You can't throw it that far. You throw it far? Ah, He's then I won't. really good at it. Nah. I'll get closer. Okay, uh, it is now Fjord's turn. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, so I'm at a Abiona, slight distance. you are up next, so prepare what you're going to do. Okay. And this little clump of trees down here at the bottom end of the lake. Uh-huh. This, the, the thing, okay, are there any of the orcs near us? I, I can't make the screen bigger, so I don't know what's really around me. Okay, there is. Uh, there are people at the north end of the lake. Not north. There, there are people north of you guys, kind of at the They're northern up, near edge of the house. There's no orcs down where you are. Everyone is bunched up between the lake and the house. You see some orcs coming towards you from the top. Okay. Still kind of hidden behind the trees a little bit from their yeah. way, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, does it look like from my perception that they have the everything under control at that one tree where everyone else is there to my right, the house do I need to, to head that right, way to help them? to your right there's a dead orc at the bottom of the tree that's all you can see mm. and then you see you see Eisensprite and Baldwin up the road um, you know directly to your north east I can you see, see someone else there, but I can't tell who it is. Because um, it's so small. Um, There's no way you I can use like, your fingers to like, you know, kind of do one of these motions and expand the screen. That's what I had been trying to do a few times. I know, it just, it's not moving. Sorry. Very oh, odd. Gosh. It happens, but this time, no. Got it in the smallest version you can imagine. Um, wow. I think... Uh, That's what she said. <laughs> oh, 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 I was waiting for that. It took you yeah, longer than It usual. took a long time. I'm sorry. My brain uh, is preoccupied. Oh. So, Fjord, basically... Um, Quiet. Hand-to-hand, -hand, there's nothing you can do. So you can move. I, I, that's what I was thinking. I don't want to move forward and, and take make contact with them, and I'm kind of hidden. So even if they came towards where they are, <clears> I <throat> might get an element of surprise when they get this way. So I think I'm going to hang tight. I mean, if you they want, you can move out. out closer to where O'Carolyn and Abiona are and hide in the trees. Sure, yes, that'll work. And because, like, you know, I'll where you are sure now, you're just kind of, like, out in the open in. on the road. And... You're too far to really help anybody. That's what I'm thinking. That's, from what I can tell, that's what I thought. And I don't want to expose myself in the sense of letting them know I am here for sure. I'd rather hold on some element if I need it. So how about you just move into the trees then? It's fine. I'm good with that. I don't know that I can. Can you move your character? Or you cannot? I'm not even sure which one is me. All right, let me that move your character. I'm moving your character into the trees. That was Abby yeah. that you moved. And I'm so now you are, <laughs> Yeah, now you are in the trees between O'Carolyn and Abby I'm, I figured I was in that area. But I'm wow. good. You, you, you can turn. use a mouse? No. He's on a phone. Oh, he heard something. Orc is coming closer. Yeah, a couple orcs are coming. Orc in. archer is coming closer. Orc moon is coming. Oh, orc expo is coming closer. They suspect we're there. Suspect. I mean, they saw people already. I thought somebody has a fireball. This is a good time to cast it. Too high of a level. Nobody has a fireball. Really? No. <laughs> I'm still dreaming about it. Yeah. Wish. <laughs> but if somebody gave us Ryan, a you're black fireball, that'd be nice. 
I have a bottle of Fireball. That's another game, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of a game. Is that a magic user? Yeah, don't have that high. It's that's too high of a level for me. Okay, so you guys are, are out of range. Five foot cube illusion. Jesus. They're moving again? They they, they have a special me? ability. They they One. can do an, an extra dash. Get quick. Quite dashing. And that's um their turn. Abiona. Okay, who's the biggest of? Uh... The biggest one? This guy with the whip. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, oh, um, the one, uh, the hand Yutas, is that a magic user? I don't know. He doesn't have any weapons. He has white gloves on. Ooh. No. Fancy. Okay. He has green hands. No, he has, going, a man, he has like white going, hands. He has white I'll gloves. Put this map on him. On which one? Hand your test. Okay. Can someone mark him with a circle? What did she do? How do you do that? She used a hunter's a mark. Hunter's mark. Oh, okay. On the hand of your disc. All right, so yellow is the hunter's mark. And then that's a bonus action, Aviona? Uh, bonus damage in action. Yeah, and what, what does it do? So now what it does gives it do? bonus damage when she hits him. It's a but bonus it's, action uh, to cast, right? Oh, it's, it's just her. damage. Yeah. For my weapon. An advantage for perception survival versus the target. Oh, I forgot my turn. I for sorry, I had like one other move. Um, sure you did. This arrow comes whizzing at Eisen Sprite. He looks like he wants to be hit. <laughs> 13, hits you. Um, AC 15. Where'd the arrow yeah. come from? Is it from the tree guy? Guy from the tree. So he's not burned up. No. He's seven points of damage to Eisen Sprite. Oh. That seems to be a lot. Yeah. It's like a, a long lot. shaft. It's a long shaft. Not I'll a say I get the shaft. Yeah. You got shafted. Watch your mouth. Um, yeah, so Abby Owner, are you gonna do anything? Uh that that take a wrong, right, my spell? I thought it's a bonus action that you cast that, so yeah, you still you have an it. action you can take. So you can still... Uh, can I cast another spell? I, I never use I want to use it. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast, can cast a cantrip. And, trip. So you cast uh, the... Entangle. Can I still cast Entangle? Is, oh, no. My cantrip is only two of them. It's the Cure Wound and the uh, Hunter's Mark, I think. I, uh, Hunter's Mark is a spell, right? Yeah. So you can cast, if you cast a bonus action spell, you can only cast a cantrip with your action. So you can do Entangle if you want as a spell, but you can't do Hunter's Mark, or you can do Hunter's Mark and the cantrip, or you can do Hunter's Mark and shoot. Okay. Uh, I can do another round then. Um, I, would, I would shoot... Uh... The one that I mark, of course. Mm. Yes. Okay, roll. I missed. Well, why would you do that? You don't get a bonus <laughs> for marking him? Uh, a bonus. Okay, I, I have 
plus and my bonus. But would that hit? Hit. Then I rolled so what's bad. Your, you rolled two. So what's your score? Uh, I mean, how nine? big is your bonus? Seven. Oh, no, I, I have seven. And there's a bonus to Hunter's Mark? Uh, only for damage here, is said. All right, so you miss. Uh, oh, Carolyn, your move. I... Okay, I'm stepping out. Michael, um, if I move closer, I would have to engage in physical combat with me hammer, right? Yeah, or else you could use a spell. The only spells I have is a disillusionment or spell of illusion. No, those are cantrips. So you have like first level spells and second level spells also on your sheet. So take a look at your spell sheet. I we had a conversation. Spell. We had a conversation the other day about when you're selecting your spells. I have comp, comp languages, dissonant whispers, oh. healing word. Speak those are animal. first level spells. How about for second level spells? Do we see the level? These are all second level. No. Second level spells is only detect thoughts and shatter. Shatter means thunder damage, save halves. Non magical unattended objects also take damage. And it's 10 foot radius. As still, they're still too far away then. Ten foot so, radius. <laughs> but what's the distance? So the the area of effect of the shatter is ten foot radius. But what's the distance of the range? So can you find range on your spell three. sheet? Oh, it doesn't say three D eight. Is that what it That's means? That's the damage. That's the damage. Range sixty feet. So and one, if there's something one, within three. sixty feet, you can cast a twenty foot circle of damage. So right now, each square represents five feet. feet. Five feet. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. How far can I move? You don't have to move to cast the shatter. You can. The spell will travel sixty feet away. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay, so I can hit them with the spell. If I try to use the shatter spell to attack the orcs bow, orc three, two, Eunice, thug, all of them, I roll a die. Yeah. So where do you want to center your shatter? I want to center, center my shatter. I want to center my center shatter it. on orc art one. This guy. And it looks like if you hit him, everything is within 10 feet of you, right? Yeah, yeah, of them, yes. So think... cast your spell. So what do I do? I, I have like a saving throw for half damage, right? Yeah. Hit him. Yes. All right. So, so what you want to do is you just roll your damage. So you do right. 3d8. So you roll an eight-sided die three times. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, seven, six. Is that right? Uh, you have one more die. You have the six and the seven, oh. and roll one more. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine plus seven. That's 16. All right, so it adds it up automatically. So 16 points of damage. So what I need to do is roll saving throws. Okay, so let me roll. Um, I'm going to roll for the archers. They, they save. Uh, on a 20, so. Okay, I'm going to roll for the orc fighters. And they also say... What? But this is for half damage, right? I wasted. Yes, they're doing half damage. So orc 1, 2, and 3. Okay. 
take half damage. I'm going to roll for a hand. And he takes full damage. It's a con save. Okay, he also saves. Huh. So, basically... And then thug. One more. And you hear the thug yell in pain. Everyone yells in pain. You hear this big booming sound and some of the windows on the house shatter well that's nice yeah and, and it's just it seems like there's this wave and all of the orcs who are standing there they seem like they're shaken and they're charging towards you and some of them stumble a little bit it seems like everyone has been affected by this big blast and now it is baldwin's turn all right, I'm going and to... And Silly Wanker is up next. I am going to utterly destroy the hand guy because you always want to take the spellcaster out. So I'm going to attack him with my good looks and my guiding bolt. Uh, and so what we're doing. I do a spell attack and I am within range. And so... Uh, you hit. 18, 19, 19, 19. Yes, yes, a lot. Roll the damage. Uh, the damage course. is not very much, but I'm going to do it anyway. Please roll sixes. Oh, that's shit. That's pure shit. Okay. 13. 13. I no rolled two ones. Oh, I got a five and a six and two ones. So yeah, that's not bad, average. but... Those two ones it's, it's suck. Just, it's just one point below average. So this is, you hit Han? Yes, he's dead, mm -hmm. right? No, he's not dead. But you well, can see that, that, wow, there's like this, what does the guiding bolt do? What's it made of? All right, like it's, a, damage, it's, right? A, it's a flash of light. Um, evidently, it's, it's radiant damage. All right, and also, anyone it's who attacks him, him gets advantage until the end of my next turn. Okay. So if somebody wants to just remove him from the living, the mortal coil, they have an advantage Silly to their Ranker, attack. It is your turn. From my vantage point, can I see the group of orcs on the corner of the house? There's a lot of yelling, and so if you move a little bit, you can see them. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit and, and do shatter on the same orc that uh, Caroline did. Caroline. And so, all right, so roll your damage. Caroline, Caroline wherever. Caroline? Caroline. It's Caroline. just sweet Caroline. Caroline. What's your name? Can anybody play? So, Silly Wanker, roll your damage. Okay. Wow. What was it? Oh, was it 2d8? 3d8. 3d8 plus 1d8 per level. Yeah, but it's not extra. Wait, what is it? Seventeen. Yes. You did seventeen. Seventeen. I believe you're dead. All right, so archers, they fail. Hey, uh, hey. Warrior guys, they fail. Yay! Yay. There's much Hand, rejoicing. He fails too. Yay! And yes, the guy water. saves. Okay, so how many alive? of these guys get uh, red circles? Please say Fucking A. 
<laughs> you see, you see, silly wanker, silly wanker, move out. Where did you go? You said you moved out. It's, it's like you have a clear view of them. Maybe just a little bit more, like over here. Yeah. And what do you say as you cast this spell? Fuck you and your family too. You will die now. <laughs> and you see this huge boom, and they all die now. <laughs> I am so brave. I am your god now. You guys can bow down to me. Do you feel any remorse for the mass murder? No. I Good. really enjoyed it, in fact. Give me a, a big old heart on, in fact. Well, that was... Yeah, so you can you can put a, a bunch of red circles over there as there's absolute carnage. So, so this shatter spell seems like it, it started inside each of these orcs and they explode outward and there's just like blood and guts everywhere quite messy um, i'm in a tree um, there's still a dude in the tree got one archer yep. <laughs> he should be running away if he saw his friends if he, out if he tries to run we're gonna nail him um it is eisensprite's turn followed by fjord well, have you seen all this carnage right behind me? I'm going to continue on towards the tree and the archer I saw there. Am I within shuriken range yet? What is shuriken range? I think uh, it might be like 60 2, feet. No, for or a month it's like 2,000. It's like 2,000 feet for a month. 2,000 feet? I think it's I like know. 30 feet for normal range and 90 for long range. So you can Holy hit boy. it with disadvantage. You can roll no. with disadvantage to shoot. Thousand for a monker. Yeah, yeah it's uh, twenty feet is melee, and is melee twenty feet, sixty feet. All right. If you move ten more feet, I think you're just almost in range. Well, like that. No, no, you're you're out of range still. I'm still out of range. I'll still give it a shot. What am I doing? Rolling the uh, twenty. Begin with twenty, with disadvantage. Well, two. You miss. And eleven. So I take the disadvantage means I take the smaller one, right? Yes, you yes. miss. Okay, the smaller one's a two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now it is uh, Fjord's turn. Fjord's turn. So as far as I know. For us, the only uh, bad guy is the one in the tree, eh? Yeah. Um, about looking farther north there, are there more up that way, or do they hear the explosion you and flee that, if there are? You see that there are two guys up there. That's that's it. Two, two human guys who are, who are just standing around. They do anything when they saw the orcs all explode? Uh, no. They're just kind of standing there still. Well, they're kind of useless. It's just humans there, no orcs, right? You don't see any orcs. You only see humans. Well, we're going to check that house and... out pretty soon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, does it look like there's a front door down there on the south side by... Uh, well, kill the guy in the tree right? first. Tree where he's heading, right? Archer? Isaac yes. Sprite is heading for the tree. Yeah, kill him before I get to him. I don't know that I have anything to kill him with. I have an axe and a hammer. Axe yeah, you're throwing. like way too far away. I'm way too far, yeah, you know. I, I, I can't the tree. I give my turn to Isaac Sprite so he can move more? I mean, you can Will move you if you out? want to move. Um, but other than that, then it's it's the next round. Go inside the building. Go ahead, and move. Go ahead and move towards uh, both Baldwin and the front door at least. If I can find my bottom. Yeah. I think I am uh, that one there. How many get moved? Five. So one, two, three, four. I think that's. Five. 
character. Go. Okay, um, next round. Your dead guys twitch for their case. Um, there's an arrow coming towards Eisen Sprite from the tree. And he hits again. He does two points missile? of damage. Can I deflect missile? Sure. Um, how do you do that? How do I do that? Let me find that in here. It's in here somewhere. It's up there. Up one more. Uh, it's a reactant. Deflect missile. Okay. I mean, do you roll? Um, um, that's a good question. Is it a deflect missile? It's a dexterity modifier. Uh, as reaction, I can reduce ranged weapon attacks damage done to me. If the damage is negated, I catch and may throw it back. So, um, it is a, a 1d10 plus 3, plus dexterity modifier. <laughs> and it's costing one, one key to throw it back, <laughs> throw it back if I throw it back. Oh, so you just roll for the damage, and then let me see what it says. I roll 1d10 plus 3 plus dex modifier. Okay. And I can reduce the, the, I can reduce the attack damage done to me, and if I negate it, then I can throw it back by using a key point if I want. Okay. All right. So roll your, your damage, or yep. roll your d10. My, my D10, where is the D10 there? Where, there it is, okay. So uh, I rolled an 8 plus 3 plus my dex, which is, uh, th that's 11 plus uh, my dex up here is So I you see three. this arrow come flying at your face, and you just catch it very easily. It just seems like you're not even trying. You just raise your hand up very calmly, and you catch this arrow in your hand. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and and not expend a key point to throw it back. I'm just going to cap it to not take any damage. Okay. Wow. Looks like you should have done that last round, too. I should have, yeah, but I wasn't thinking about it. I was looking for yeah. stuff to defend myself with, and I found it. Okay, Abiona, it is your turn. Okay, so the guy in the tree is still standing? He's still standing. He just shot at Eisen Sprite. He he he's probably weak or something because it's a pretty lame shot that Eisen Sprite just caught. Do I still have disadvantage to hit? Yeah, you're pretty far away and you haven't moved. So yes, you do. Well, I'll, I'll just give him another shot if I want to. Okay, I roll to hit. Okay, this is a one. If you move your max movement, you will be within range to not be at disadvantage. But you only uh, rolled a 20, so too bad. You no, missed. No, I missed too far away. All right. Um, oh, Carolyn, your move. Your turn. The only thing I can do to help is to start moving. I'm sorry again. My maximum space moves is five squares. You can spaces. move five squares. Yes. I'm going to move five squares closer to the side of the house. I'm out of range of the archer, but my ultimate plan is to go around the house, the back of the house. Okay, so I've moved five squares. Okay. Move over. Yes. Baldwin, right. your turn. Awfully squishy One, here. two, three, four, five. Okay. I am going to... Um, flame that guy so he makes a dex saving throw what's your range uh 60 feet you're out of range from where you what are what do you mean you said the squares are five feet yeah 10 20 30 40 50 60 you're out of you're you're out of range i thought it was the first tree by the house do you see the guy in the tree you said it was the first the right tree in the... 
if you yeah. look, if you look on oh, the map, fuck. you can see the guy. All right, I've I've been looking at the my map wasn't zoomed in right. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be in the house too. Oh. No, no, the guy is on the map. All right. Way back there. Yeah, yeah. way back there. Oh, that tree. That's really far. Yeah, so I, 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 I Michael, your there. description made us all think it was the one by the house. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Um, I said it on the far right side of the map, and the guy has been sitting there revealed no, yeah, okay. the whole time. I heard to yeah. the the tree to the right. Yeah, to not the, right the far of the house. right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at the entire map, and so. Uh, all right. So, anyways, Baldwin, are you doing anything? Well, I'm definitely not going to try to hit somebody I can't hit. So I, I, I'm, I'm moving toward the door of the house. Okay, silly anchor. Direct line of fire from that tree and that guy to where Eisen Sprite is. I will fire both of them again. Roll. <laughs> Nineteen. Wow. Yeah. Roll your damage. Right, the corner of the house and is blocking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The corner of the house is blocking in spot. Got him ten, so total of what? Seventeen? I forgot how many. Be magic arrows. <laughs> All right, you yeah, see yeah. this flaming body come fall out of the tree and plop down at the bottom of the tree, bent at this twisted, grotesque angle. Yay! Good. I my Wednesday dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is now Ice and Sprite's turn. Um, wow. So the guy I was going towards uh, is dead. I'll go in the house. All right, let's go in the house. Not on the house, no. but in the house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like the smaller bells is the loading. Yeah. Abiana, clear your tray. Cause uh. that's an embarrassing role anyway. <laughs> but that was a good one. What happened? Is, is there a map of the house? Loading. My end, that's for sure. Not good yet. What happened? Why are we on a different map? Yeah. Going, into, you're the going into the house. So, uh, move your characters yeah. to where they were. All I have is my left. map hasn't loaded yet. Should Which I is, refresh? Michael, I can't tell where the door is of the house. Uh, do you see some steps going up from the back? Okay. There's like right there. Those are the steps going up. Okay. Oh, that's a balcony. Okay. That's a porch. Yeah. All right. And so and there's then, like a dead window? orc over here, dead orc by the tree. So if you want to just like leave them there, you can. Yeah, no. they don't taste very good. I my arrow, but I never shoot them. I miss, so I pick up the arrow on the ground. All right, so if you look at the top of the map, there are some orcs. Those are the, the dead ones. Which they should be closer to us. Yeah, I mean, they, that's the original location. So I can, I'm just going to remove all the dead ones. No, we know they're dead. In case, unless you want their bodies or something. No, I, I, I don't the arrows, if there are any. 
Well, <laughs> they are like longbow down. arrows from the guy that's at the bottom of the tree. Okay, is there's there a some more crossbow. Yeah. That's the tr that's I'm, the uh, that's the tree we thought he was in, but now he's in. No, if the maps are not all the same. Um, you know, like different artists have different maps, and so what I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm, this map is is I picked for the inside of the house, while the other map I picked for the outside of the house. Mm -mm. Okay, just show us what's inside. Somebody's standing by the door already. I walked in. Yeah, he walked in. So who who went in? I, I went in. Eyes and Sprite. It's still unloaded. Yeah. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I, I seem to be stuck sprite. behind the black. Yeah. Um, I need to... Um, move some dead orcs out of here too so these guys are dead they were inside the house do a little bit of house cleaning yeah These guys are outside. Up. Telephone. Okay, um, we're yeah, it looks like we're ready. Okay. I'm waiting for the thing, oh Lord. Oh, oh, oh Tally for line. Where is Hinko? Hinko's staying outside. He's a coward. Yes. Tinko. name is Tinko because he's like peeing himself. <laughs> That guy is huge. Which guy is huge? Yeah. Dead guy. Oh, that's dead. The <laughs> north. What is he like? Okay, a half giant? That. Oh, he got smaller. Yeah. Okay. That way. That's a neat trick for a corpse. Okay, let me get these guys. Oh, whoa. Loading the map. Is the map loaded for you guys yet or not? I finally got mine. Here to go. Yeah, it's loaded. I still have massive black spaces, Michael. The yeah. black spaces are blocked. Yeah. Oh, okay. He'll he doesn't un reveal them until we go in the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just not loaded. No, he's just tricky. Tricky bastard. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, I need to do right. one more thing. Yeah. 
it's 11 o'clock already. Sorry, just uh, one more guy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get ready. Um, top of the round. I don't know what that is. Are you still getting ready, Michael? Yeah. Um, okay, why don't we take a bathroom break while you get everything ready? Actually, I'm ready now. Oh, okay, um, then we'll go on. Aviona. Got it. Aviona, you're outside? I'm well out by the window. I'm just looking. Okay. Um, you don't. You see this room, and there's carnage in the room. There's like dead okay. bodies. Stuff is battered and broken up. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go to the other window. I'm going to check around the house before I go in. All right. I mean, it's just the same a view of the same same room that you can see from this window. Yeah. But and that's your house. entire move. Yes. I'll check these two windows. Okay. And then I'll Apparently. go yeah, Checking you're... to see, do any of the other players need healing? Oh, we took damage, but uh, yeah. for sure. he's strong. He has a lot of hit points. No, Is but you can help him. I think I have a yeah. healing somewhere in here. I want to. I'm yeah, going to take one more hit before I do my healing spell. Oh, he has okay. his own healing spells. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, Carolyn, anything else that you want to do? Do you want to head in the house, stay outside? I'm, I'm going to come in the house and head straight to the kitchen the stove and warm myself up against the stove okay i've moved the stove still got fire <laughs> yeah you see it there's fire Baldwin, there. your move fire okay um that's a doorway by isis right to the yes. right and to the north right yes I'm going to open this door. Okay. Carefully, carefully. No, I'm just opening it. Hello, guys! And uh, I'm going to kill them all. Cool. It should be dead already. Does this do Silly Wanker? What? Silly Wanker. My turn? Yes. Uh, I will come up here and open up this other door so we have more orcs to fight. <laughs> How clever. Is that a door there? Oh, there's not a door there? I'm not really sure. Uh, look I asked that if that was like a, a door, door to the north, Michael, and you said yes. Well, okay, oh. just show us that. Hello, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're in darkness oh, now. It drew a dark spell. Is it? Up oh, it's a window. Okay. The door oh, yeah. to the outside. Okay, I stand behind Baldwin, ready to attack. All right. 
Um, so when I opened the door, I couldn't attack them? Actually, they have initiative before you. So I'm just going to start at the next round because they would actually attack you when you open the door. Well, that seems pretty weird. Because they have... They actually have higher. They all have high. You guys rolled really crappy, so they all have initiative before you guys. But weren't um, they surprised? No, you've been making a lot of noise. Not so. Me. They're basically waiting for you. I've and just so we're been making start a the next moderate the amount of noise. Nothing but stealth. So eyes and sprite, do you want to do move anywhere? Um, where are you? Oh, eyes and sprite's there. So let's just start at the top of the round. Okay, so um, my turn. Um, this guy's here. Oh, there's the stairs. Yeah, this guy's coming down the steps. All right, um, Orc 6 is going to attack Baldwin. Uh, he missed. I'm just being he helpful. He rolled a net 20. Uh, that would be a miss. Six net 20. So I get to oh, do my uh, healing spell soon. Yeah. He does nine points of damage to you. That's very rude. I just want you to know that. Okay, and then this other guy, Orog, is also going to hit you. 15, I believe, is going to smack you easily. I have an 18. Yeah, yeah he hits you. And then he swings again. And second blow clinks off your shield and you have this feeling that if you didn't deflect it it probably would have cleaved right into your head okay but um, i'm hellish rebuking him as a reaction on the first blow all right so let me get my first blow in and then you can hellish rebuke him and oh he i does... also can i hellish rebuke orc six too since it's a reaction to their attacks did Orc 6 hit you? Uh, yeah, you did damage. Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. You yes, did a shitload of damage. Can... Okay, sure. So you can you can do Orc 6. So, okay, I'm asking, can I hellish rebuke both of them? No, you have one reaction. So you can, do, oh, you then can hit I... one of them with your reaction. All right, let me see how much damage Orog does. He does um, 12 points of damage to you. Okay, Orog is the one getting the hellish rebuke. And I'm fucked. Hey, you up here, so, yourself. Is there a oh, save yeah. on the hellish rebuke or not? Uh, they save for half damage. Okay, so let me roll the save. He misses the save. Good. Good. And I didn't do that much anyway. Nine points. Okay. Um, shit. Orc four. Orc seven. Are just standing around because there's no place to go. You're blocking the door. Can you move so Eisenspray can hit? Yeah, I'm going to be moving because I don't want to die. <laughs> um, okay, sure. Um, yeah, it's uh, Abby Ona's turn. Is he move? I thought he's supposed to move. 
Can you move also, to the side? Move? Yes. If I can do that. Yes, you can. You're, you're outside. Right. Okay, okay. You're just staying right there. All right. So now, because you're not out of Orog's range, he doesn't get an opportunity attack. But if you step one square farther back, both those guys can smack you. So if you stay there, they don't get the opportunity yeah, attack. Yeah, but I want but my friends to round. shoot through the door. Okay. And if so they're not my friends, is... I want these guys to shoot through the doors. Anybody <laughs> shoot through the door. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my machine gun out. Okay, I, I, I'll shoot through the window then. You mean into is Silly Wanker's turn? back? Yeah, through Silly Wanker's back. Yeah. Okay, I say Silly Wanker. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least did yet. Uh, so you, are, you are. Let me just come inside. No, you're you're yeah, too I low to it. shoot up. Because you're on the ground outside, so it's not like the window is at you know chest height. So th basically, the window is like you have to kind of like stand on your tippy toes to look through the window because it's mm -hmm. up higher, and there's no way that you can raise your bow and shoot like that. Mm -hmm. It's so no that's good. why you missed. Okay. Well, oh. if you want to move, Abiona, you can move also. Okay, I'm going to climb over the window. You're going to try to climb in through. Okay, so let's say you're you're in the window right now. That's it. Yeah. That's my move? Evidently. Yes. Okay, sure. Uh, now, now Carolyn's turn. I'm g going to go into the doorway. That's five moves. One, two, three, four, five. I'm in the door. I have a second move. Second turn. Yeah, you can do a move and you can do an action. All right. Now I need to do some attacking against the... Yes. So please. you can't be in the same square as Baldwin. So you can be I over can't. here. Oh, can yeah. I still uh, can I still uh, encroach in the room, kill things? Yeah, you can th swing through the door if you want. Oh, again, I'm I'm lost on on my um, page. I see spells. If you want to do spells, that's on the last page. If you want to attack with weapons, that's on the first page. Only weapons I have is my slammer, which is my hammer. Yeah. All right. I can't see how much, but if I go after, I think I can reach Orc 8. There's Orc 6. Orc 6, Orc 6. Oops, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you I can swing at Orc 6. All right, I'll take a swing at Orc 6. Roll my die. Yes. Do I know how much damage my slammer does? You roll the 20-sided <clears throat> die to see if you hit him. Ten. No good. Uh, that's ten plus what? No, that's going to miss. No, maybe you okay. Ten plus, what's your, your weapon damage? It should say, let me look in your sheet. Your last page? It should be on the first page. Oh, first page? On the first page. So it should say, weapon bottom of the first page it's to say warhammer and it says to hit plus three so you miss with the warhammer it is now baldwin's turn uh baldwin, baldwin's gonna baldwin run again? his butt out of shot and heal himself because he's hurt bad all right as you run the Orog is going to take an opportunity attack on you. Well, so stay where was you right are. in front of me. Yeah, but you know, the, the Orog is in the door. I went behind so O'Carolyn. You still, when you leave that square, he's going to take a shot at you. Well, I, I really okay? prefer that he miss. <laughs> Mm 
You can't always get. He misses with a two. No. Orc number six is also going to take a shot at you. He rolls a ten, and that's also going to miss. Okay, Michael. So both of them can... use their reactions. Hey, can I do a reaction to their opportunity attack? This is a new... No, you already used your reaction okay. this round. Just asking. So mm -hmm. I make it out of the way and I cure wounds myself. Okay, so roll your your healing. Oh, Carolyn, can you clear your tray and silly wanker, you're up. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. D8 since since Carol's in A... I get 11 points back. Okay. Since Carol's in the way, can I still fire a boat one of the orcs? Or is he still in the way? Well, Carolyn's city? short, and so you can, like, shoot one of them in the face. Okay, we do that then. Shoot Let's Carolyn do in the face. Or, whatever his name is. There's Orog, Orc 6, Orc 4 is behind him, but that's kinda, he's kind of in cover. Big ugly one. Okay. 17. That 17? Let me check. 17 misses. 17 misses? Yeah. You see he's in plate armor. Plate armor, that sucks. He's in full plate armor. Okay. Which... It is okay. now my turn. And you see this kind of person in back here dodging around and she is chanting and what's she gonna do? Okay, she is going to um, roll a saving throw. Um, O'Carolyn, Silly Wanker, and Aviona. Roll a 20-sided die. Oh. Oh, Lindsay. Four. Damn. Oh, Carolyn, you rolled a two? Yeah. And Aviona? So we roll what safe? 20-sided die. 20-sided. I, I save, obviously. Okay, so Silly Wanker and O'Carolyn, you feel some curse descend upon you. Can you mark um, Silly Wanker and O'Carolyn? When you hit, you have minus. Oh, wait, so this is a Yeah. And so now every time you roll, roll a d4 and subtract it to whatever roll you are making. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, Eyes and Sprite, it's your turn. So it's just like you have a negative to your roll. You're cursed. Cursed is it eight? Eyes and Sprite? Off? Yes. Uh, no, just Eyes and Sprite. And Fjord is next. So Fjord, get ready. And decide okay. what you're going to do. Okay. Is Orc Six in my line of sight? Uh, yeah. yeah sure, can. Carolyn's short. Okay. Keep saying that. So is that a D20? Yes. Abiona, please clear your tray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Seven. Plus. That's my that's attack of five. Well. It misses. Uh, Fjord, cool. your turn. Okay, each of these uh, squares, is that just a couple That's of five. feet? Five feet? Yeah, each square is five feet. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So the best I could do is get up there near O'Carl and, and help uh, and maybe, and, but would I have a chance to hit if I got that far? Yeah, you can, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you <laughs> can get that square that Baldwin used to be in right by the door, and then you can smack someone, either Orc 6 or Oron. Two more spaces. Still, uh, you can get all the way to there. the top from where you were. I'm, I'm there. Calm, calm yeah. down. Calm down. Getting there. 
Um. Well, with my uh, or um uh, silvered uh battle axe. Yes. We might. Which. All right. I'm Go trying. Orag. Why not? Swing away. I don't remember. Is it a 20 sided die? No. Yes, 20 sided die. <laughs> well. It's going to miss. Uh, it's going to miss. Yeah. State that um, right off the bat like that. My turn. Um, Orc 6 is going to smack O'Carolyn because he's right there. Damn you, lad. And he hits you. Come on, you big Eric root. And he does nine points of damage to you. Bloody hell. Uh, Orog is right there, and he's going to hit you too. Five is going to... There's no way. No, no. Five is going to miss. And he okay. swings a second time, and he misses again. He's little slimy little... Slimer. Yeah, yeah. You're sad that he's missing me a lot. <laughs> Swinging high, but you got the low. Sweet chariot. I can't figure out this sheet. Spell? Yeah. Can I do a spell on my next turn? You can. <laughs> okay. Uh... That's my move. Uh, Abiona, your turn. Uh, can I can I get a clear shot on uh, uh, Orc Six or Aura? Uh, if you move into the room past Silly Wanker, you might be able to get a clean shot over O'Carolyn's head on Orog. Okay, then I will be here. Yes. Right. Okay, yes. I'm gonna shoot our rock. Let me see. Sorry. Okay, I hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did do. I get a double damage? Yes, you do. Okay. So let me roll one d8 plus three. You roll two d8 plus your dex bonus. Okay, two d8. <laughs> Another d8. Hey, 15 plus 3. 18. I did 18 damage. Nice. Wow. Wow. Uh, oh, Carolyn, it's your turn. Um, throw a spell, right? Sure. Yeah, I can. Am I allowed to do the shatter again? If you want to. If you have the spell but points. We can... I don't know that I do, because I'm you already do. weak. You have a second slot. Because I was thinking put in a uh, illusion, a minor illusion to make them think there's something behind them. Make them minor illusion up. cannot make a noise. If you make an image, it can't make a noise and it can't move. Oh, okay, because this says five foot includes visible or audible. Yeah, either one, and it, it's stationary, oh. it's static. So you can put like an, an illusion of a statue, for example. No magic word and in there. Can't turn them around, look backwards. All right. Well. All right, let's try that minor illusion, then everybody else can attack them. If so I try Tim, a minor. Tim, the minor illusion cannot move. And it cannot make no. It, it can either. It can be. You can make an image or a sound. You can't do both. Sound. I was going to put a sound behind them, 
of their boss okay. leader. Okay, so minor illusion down behind them, behind Claw Luthic, saying, cease attack from the voice of their leader. What so does the your leader sound like? Leader, voice of their leader says, <clears throat> Do you speak orc? Uh, well, my illusion does. <laughs> that's illusion too. I mean, that's, that's a great one. Illusionary. Illusionary. Very good answer. All right, so you make an illusion of a sounding, which yes. means cease attack in Orcish, and it's spoken from behind Claw Luthic. Okay, and it's the voice of their general, their leader. That's that. It's a very good illusion. This is a very detailed illusion. This is what you always want us to do. Yeah, and <laughs> can you? So, instead of like describing it, can you? act out the sound that they hear. First, they hear the sound of their drum troop. All right, so so they hear some drumming. They hear a drumming sound? Mind you, that's going on video. And then I cast my spell. OK. Ready? 20, sure. 20 side of die. No, no, you don't have to cast a spell. I mean, you don't have to roll. Oh, okay. You just describe what's going to happen. All right. In and now when they hear Very that detail. voice, they're so shocked that when they stop. So, so don't, they look you can't describe them. what they do. You can just describe what you do. And I'll decide what they do. So you just make the sound. Make the sound Pressing. that they hear. Okay, so there's a sound behind them. All right, let's go on. Baldwin, your turn. I am going to, uh, I'm going to cast Spiritual Hammer, and it's going to slam right into Orog's face because his face is okay. slammable. And roll. so I will roll to hit, and it will be awesome. Um, I uh, went over plus five, 21. You hit him. Yes, I do. And he will enjoy the damage of 1d8 plus your wisdom. Yeah. Uh, my wisdom is oh, three. Hopeless. So that would be nine points of in your face, screw you, aura damage. Yeah, you hit him right in the face, and he's bleeding. It's like kind of snorting blood out, and you can see like this big gash on his face. And I would, or, su I would submit that he is drowning in his own blood. So let's do that. Um, maybe not quite. So that was your bonus action. Do you have an action that you're going to take? Uh, yes. My action is to get the fuck over here. Because I don't want to die. Well, no, I need to be close enough so that I can move that. Um, then uh, I'm going to sling Orog 6, Orc 6. Just a regular okay. attack, dude. Just a sure. small, regular attack that totally hits with a 3. Okay, and so that sling goes bouncing off the wall, and it is now Sealy Wanker's turn. Yeah, I will do another spell. Uh, <coughs> and I will center on All right. Orc 4. Orc 4? Yeah. All right, that's going to hit O'Carolyn through the door, too. That's okay. He's tough. Okay, roll. Roll your damage. It's going to hurt. Don't hurt me. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> see why I don't trust people. Thirteen points of damage. Okay, so we're gonna look at. Um... All right, let me close this. Orc four. Okay. First one is eighteen. So orc six and seven save. 
So how much did you do? 13, so it takes six points of damage. Four takes six points of damage. Uh, I'm gonna roll Orog now. What's your your save? What my save? Yeah, what's this? It's a thirteen, right? Yeah. And is so. it a con or what is it? Con save. Thirteen, thirteen. Yeah, save thirteen. It's a what now? Is it Constitution save? Wisdom save? Oh, save? it is a. Say a constitution. Okay, he makes it. Who makes it? Okay, the optic has God damn it, fucker! Dead. All right, Dead. let me roll claw. Claw makes it. Um, there's this big explosion. Shattering windows and breaking bookcases and stuff, and um, Org falls to the ground. Good, that's okay. So, if someone want to put a red mark on him? Oh, and oh, Carolyn, you need to save too. Roll a twenty sided die. I'm not having good luck with this algorithm. Twenty. <laughs> That's not and too bad. And he takes six points of damage. Am I supposed to be keeping records? Yes. Yes. Yeah. When you go to zero, let us know. Because you're dying. I don't know where I am at now. How much do you I have? I think you took maybe like 15 or so earlier. You got hit before. How much damage did you take the first time? None. Absolutely none. I know you got hit. Let's say you took 15, because I don't remember. Uh, let's negotiate. Seven. All right, so that's that's uh, 20. So you've taken 20 points of damage total. What's your total um, and hit points? just remember points? that. Because I think that hurt. The first one hurt. Um, it is my turn, and fuck. People are all dead. But the guy had a heavy plate mail, but his his hit points were low. No, he he had damage. He had more hit points than any of you. He took a lot of damage. Abiona hit him really bad with that crit. Oh, yeah. okay. eighteen points of damage. Guiding bolt. What does that do, Brian? Uh, guiding bolt. Uh, it uh, tickles you. Uh, How much no. damage does the guiding bolt do? I'm trying to find it. Silly Anchor, can you clear your tray? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, guiding Bolt does 4d6. Uh, four D six. You make a ranged spell attack. Oh, okay. So make the ranged spell attack. Fucking A. So um, this blast of dark energy goes past Silly Winker and misses. Well, good. That tells um, us something. It is now Ice and Sprite's turn. <laughs> okay, Michael, was that Claw who did that? I'm assuming that was you the spellcaster. You don't caster. know. You didn't see, see anything from where you were. I can right. see. 13. Attack. Shuriken. Orc 6. 13 plus. Uh, uh, I think it's what strength and what plus two, 13 plus two, plus your dex. Yeah, you hit, you right. hit. No, there it is. Yeah, four, four. So 14, 17. Damage is, uh, Look, double check my damage again there. I think it's one D6. D6 Maybe plus six. D6 plus, plus six? Your plus your dexterity plus bonus. 
D6 plus three. Plus three. So six. Do I explode these sixes? No, you don't. <laughs> so you did nine points of damage. Um, <laughs> six plus three is nine. Wow. The you, you see this, like, shuriken sticking right out of Orc Six's eye. Um, is that a red dead orc now? No, it's not. He's standing there, but he... It's like you nailed him really good. Fjord, it's your turn. Uh, I can't really see Orc 6 from where I'm at a whole hell of a lot. Um, and Orc 7 is hidden. So the only way I can do much is by going into the room, which seems silly. Orc 4. Um, Orc 4, you have to go in the room too. Yeah, have to go into the room. Have an axe. So um, Fjord? Going to uh, put it back a little bit out of the way and let the people who have all these high-powered stuff in there. there. I'm not going to on my own. Okay. Well, I'm just going to kind of back out. Can't do much from where I'm at. Orc is going to take a swing at you as you back away out of the range, and he misses. And now it no is way my taking... turn. Oh, there's an orc boss. Okay. So Michael is um, going for TPK. Orc boss is going to attack Baldwin. What? And he misses. Uh, and, Orog is okay. dead. Can I rebuke him for attacking me? So it's not a hit, it's just a, an attempted attack, or it has to hit you for you to rebuke? Oh no, I have to take damage, so no. He has to hit okay. me, so I don't get to rebuke All right, him. so three arrow guys, and they're not stupid too? I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> They're going to shoot Silly Wanker. So Crossbow Guy is going to shoot Silly Wanker. Okay. Nine plus... Crossbow. Twelve. What's your AC? Twelve. He hits. I mean, 13. <laughs> Seriously? No, 12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he does uh, five points of damage. Uh, Archer dude is going to shoot at you. Are you sure it's not 11? Nope, it's not 11, it's 12. <laughs> Alright, this uh, arrow cuts through your cloak. Um, oh, right under your arm. Like, you raise your arm and it, like, cuts through your cloak and hits the wall behind you. And another guy is going to shoot at you, too. This guy's going to move over here. What did I do to them? And he also misses these fucking lame assholes. <laughs> And uh, Orc 5 is going to move here. He's going to attack Eisen's Bright. 19. He hits. Yikes. And he has a longsword, and he's swinging it two-handed. 
And he does a whopping five points of damage to Aizen Sprite. Oh. Oh, and I have these other guys, too. Any Christmas. So now it's, um... Orc 6 and 7 are going to attack O'Carolyn. First one hits. Second one also hits. Why? Because <laughs> you're standing there in the door. I'm trying to move. I gave a good illusion. Is it my fault? One guy death? does four points of damage to you. The second guy does seven points of damage to you. That's 11 points of damage. Are you still alive? 15 minus 11. What's my total kill? What's my... You have 25 hit points total, so they gave you 11 more total, so you are down. 25 minus 26? No. 20. We said that you were at 20 hit points, down 20 hit points previously, I'm dead. I believe. I'm out of the game. No, you're not. You're dead. No. So O'Carolyn is dead. down. The orange is down. Orc 4 is going to just charge into the room over here after O'Carolyn's body is down and he's going to hit Silly Wanker. And he misses also. And that's my turn. And now it is Abiona's. Okay. Anyone left to hit? Okay, there's lots. Thank you. Show off. <laughs> well, Carolyn is going to make a death saving throw his next turn, and after that is Baldwin's turn. My mouse didn't work. Okay, yeah. I think I probably dropped it too many times. Damn it. Yeah, my mouse didn't work. So I can't enlarge it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty nasty in here. Okay, I'm just so, Abby, feeling... there, there are a lot of people in here. There's Orc 4 right in front of you, and there's okay, Orc 6 through the door. Again. I, I, do I still need to roll? It's just right in front of me. Yes, you need to roll because we know that you're kind of cowardly and like to run away, and probably you're very intimidated because he's quite close. Actually, what are you cool. using to fight with him? I've just fit my arrow. It has right, more so hit. You have disadvantage if you shoot him with a bow because he is so close to you. Oh, that close? I thought I'm uh, like... Within 10 feet. feet of you, you have disadvantage. You're by uh, the window and he's you're next to Silly Wanker and he's right on Silly Wanker. So if you... He's too close. He's quite close uh, to you. So if you shoot with your arrow, you have disadvantage. Okay, I'm going to hit him with my fire boat. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Do I still need to roll? Yes, you still need to roll. No, I thought it's a spell. You don't need to roll. Yeah, you need to roll. Fire boat's an attack spell. Actually, fire boat, you know, should also have disadvantage. Any ranged attack has disadvantage on someone within five feet, so fire boat will also have disadvantage. Really? Yeah, yeah those are the rules. It's kind of weird. Uh, I guess kind of, it is weird. Okay. It makes things complicated. Let me see. That's all, like uh, the point of there's like range damage and melee attack. So he's in within melee range. So basically you're trying to wave his hand at you and, and there's this axe in your face. It should not have disadvantage, right? For what? I have a short boat. I don't have to use the long boat. Short boat would oh, still be Oh, so you're going to switch hands. You're going to switch out your weapons? Short bow would still be disadvantaged, Ryan. Right? It's a ranged attack. I think you have to switch the weapon. Do you so, can't switch the weapon at disadvantage? No, it's an action. If you use a short bow, you're still going to have disadvantage. So you How about can either a short sword? Short sword is fine. Short sword. Okay, I'm gonna use the short short then. All right, use swing. the short shorts. She's gonna okay. daisy duke him. 
Uh, Bob, and get ready. I for am your ready. Next turn. I am doomed. Jesus. Okay, I guess I miss. I have plus yes. five, but I do miss. All right. Oh, well, Carolyn, you need to roll a, t a twenty sided die. You want to roll high. You want to roll ten or higher. Don't have much. Don't have much control over this, do I? I no. close my eyes. Eighteen. You make one death save. You need to make three total. Okay. So do two more. Um, next round. Okay. Okay. 18. Uh, it is now Baldwin's turn. Uh, spiritual hammer is going to smash the orc boss because it can. Okay. Roll your damage or roll your attack. Roll to hit. Come yeah. On, come on, come on, come on. Booyah! Uh, so that'll be a D8 plus. Oh, so fucker! No, no, that was impolite. So I'm rolling two D8 now plus three. Yes. Yes. And I rolled like shit. Plus three, so fourteen. Please say he's okay. dead. No, he's not dead. Uh, then, um... fuck him. And I'm going to inflict wounds upon his sorry ass. You ready? You, oh. No, oh, the spiritual right, that's hammer. Right, okay. That's yeah, bonus yeah, time. That's, that's fun, fun, fun for, you know, until yeah. daddy takes the T-bird away. Um, okay. I'm going to hit him. And it's going to be awesome. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, is his AC eight? No. So the yeah. wounds misses. Uh, it is now Silly Wanker's turn. I will whisper naughty things into Orc Four. I need to disarm it. Whisper. Well, he needs okay. to make a he needs to make a saving throw at. He failed. Uh, okay. And he takes let's see some damage. Hang on. Oh, come on. He died. Six. Takes nine points of damage. This is orc four? Yep, the one that's in front of me. The dead one. And he flees. All right, so he turns and he runs from this howling sound in his brain. And so, Abiona, do you want to swing at him as he's running away? <laughs> Say yes. Also, I can have a reaction swing. Yes, it's an opportunity. Yes, you get a free shot as he runs away. So I can use the bow. Roll it. No, roll it. Use the short sword. Roll a d20. Okay, okay I did it. 19. Yep, you hit him. 1d6 plus 5 for my social. All right, so describe what the sword does to his back as he turns and runs. Again, I will swing my sword and cut through his back. It's like one of his arm is limping. Yeah, so his arm is, is like bleeding out and he falls to the ground. Um, Eight points. It, it is now my turn. I didn't get to go. Uh, no, I have like a, a claw back here. No, oh. she's going to cast fucking guiding bolt again at Silly Wanker. So ten plus twelve hits. How much? So it's 4d6. 4d6. I will use a shield. I will give me plus 5. You fucker. <laughs> okay. So all 4 um, is dead, so right? Move him all out. All 4 is dead. And... No, you just leave him. Yeah, you can leave him there. Put a circle around him. Um... This flash of light goes at Silly Wanker and it deflects off in 
dissipates as it hits his shield. Um, Ice and Sprite, it's your turn. I turn to hit Orc 5. Go ahead. With my short sword. Okay. 18 uh, plus. Ken, your four. camera's gone. Oh, you hit. Roll the damage. The short sword is a D hundred, right? D six plus is. your dex. The D six plus three. Eight. It's eight points of damage. Are you going to do anything else? Are you going to use like a flurry of blows or anything? Um, flurry of blows is. A key point, I'm going to use it just yet. Okay. And it is Fjord's turn. Fjord. Hell. Uh, I hate to get in the line of fire between uh, Silly Wanker and Abiona and Orc 6, so maybe I shall... Uh, Keep onto the table, run down, and attack the boss. Okay. Do it. A flourish. It. A death blow that cleans his head because he's not expecting it. Okay. Roll your attack. You have like two, you're Passive. using two weapon style? What are you using? Why not? It's about time, right? Yeah. Look out. What's uh, your bonus for this? Well, I was just looking up because I was looking at that earlier. No, 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 what no, weapon are no, you no, using? No, no. I have the axe and the hammer. Yeah. Is it a proficiency bonus? Is that what it is? Plus one? Proficiency bonus plus your strength. That's going to be two plus your strength is plus five. 11 you hit yeah 16 you hit and you're you using roll another weapon too yes do roll oh it is now going to be uh stop 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 no two two plus five is seven <laughs> no uh so you hit him once X was first. D six, D eight, D eight. Do, 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 do. Six plus how I much? How many pluses for that? So looking. Trying to read through it. It should say like where the axe uh, weapon is on the the bottom of the first page. It should say something like battle axe. Oh, should have damage D eight plus. Back. What's your strength bonus? Uh, 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 three. Okay, so you do six plus three is nine points of damage. Yes. And can you describe um, what happens as this axe cleaves into the orc boss? Uh, it literally splits his head in half, half with one eye rolling out and staring right at me. Okay. <laughs> and the orc boss falls under this Good fearsome man. blow. Um, my turn. It's a totally boss. I got orc five. Um, he's just gonna swing an Eisen sprite because Eisen sprite's right there and he missed. Orc no. 6 is charging into the room, and Orc 7 is charging into the room. Both of them are going to attack Silly Wanker. 19, first one hits Silly Wanker. Second one rolls an 8. What is that? Is this going to hit? Yeah, both of them hit. You got a plus six. You're 
Oh fuck, you still have the goddamn shield going, right? Yeah, the... I do, don't I? <laughs> In my turn yet. All right, the... I didn't hit though. I'm All right, the first one hits. The first one hits. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Um, so one guy does nine points of damage to you. Okay. And who do I have left? Oh, I got archers. Who are they going to heal? Kill. Um, let's have like two of them. Are one guy's crossbow is going to shoot silly wanker. And he misses, and um, <laughs> two archers are going to shoot Fjord. They're not. I'm moving too quickly for them. Both of them hit Fjord. Oh, those fuckers. Oh, fuck. They do shit damage. Um, also, they do six points of damage total to you. Oh. And it is now Aviona's turn. Who's still standing? All seven. Archers. Okay. Seventy-six are right in front of you. Oh, there's, there's a six move over here. I thought he died. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna stab him again. I'm gonna roll a double damage. Yes, do that. Nope, sorry. Well, Orc six has the, um, the big shuriken in his eye. Yep. <laughs> And you miss him, even though he's bl half blinded. Really? Uh, Eleven miss. Eleven misses. Uh, oh, Carolyn, roll twenty sided die. Okay. And my goal is. And or higher. One. One. You fail two death saves. Yeah. Two. Don't Somebody take me to Vegas. To if you feel if you fail one more death save or get hit by an enemy, you are dead. That means I can go have lunch. No. Uh, no, I mean you're dead, dead from the game forever. It is now okay. Baldwin's turn. All right, my uh, Maxwell Silver Hammer is going to roundly Brian, nail. You're muted. Brian, I think you, Brian, you're still, there's no sound. Okay. What happened? Maxwell, because I was coughing, so I muted myself. Uh, Maxwell Silver Hammer, my spiritual hammer is going to nail uh, Orc 7 in the back of the brain. And uh, it's okay. going to be very, very painful. Uh, uh, so 20. You hit. Okay. Two. You hit. Alrighty. Then he will just do his. Big ass damage. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong die. D8. Six. Six points. And okay. I am leaping behind Eisen Sprite so the orcs don't hit me. And I'm going to uh, cure wounds on O'Carolyn. Okay. One D8. Throw your healing. Booyah. Uh, ten. No. No. Okay, you... No. Thirteen. Sorry. Thirteen. Okay. Well, Carolyn, you get thirteen hits now. And you're back on your feet for the next round. Silly Wanker, it's your turn. <coughs> mm. I am running low on spells. Yeah, no kidding. And fire high. I will uh, disengage defensively, disengage, move back, and jump out the window. I okay. know. You're out. He's out the window. Um, it is now Claw's turn. She's gonna cast another. Um, she's gonna cast a guiding bolt. Um, she's gonna move over here and hit Abiona. Mm. 
And she misses. And she sucks. Uh, Eisen Sprite, it is your turn. All right, Orc 5. Let's kill it. Yeah. Or not? Ah, y'all. Okay, um, Fjord, your move. Okay. How many steps can I take and hit? You can take five steps. And I will go right. Well, I will go right. There. And the ox bow deserves to be hit twice. <laughs> Sorry. First one will be a plus five? No. Yeah, the plus five. You hit. Fifteen? Yes, hit. And then that's for uh, four bits of damage. And then the second one will be a uh, 14. That hits also. Or uh, for your damage. 11. Well, uh, I mean, nine more. So, uh, all, all together, something like no. How much all together. Is 12, 12 all together. That's you wrote an eight, a three, and an eight. That's eleven plus your your strength bonus. I thought oh, I misread it. It's plus three, so six more, <laughs> six more, uh, eighteen. Can you describe what happens to this orc as your weapon smash and cleave into it? Yeah, the axe cleaves an arm right off his body so blood splurts everywhere and the hammer smashes his head so it squirts even more blood. That whole west wall is covered with pretty blood. Okay. And it is now my turn. And, uh... Fucking A. die. All right, Orc Six and Seven are attacking Abiona. Both and both misses. One misses. Second one hits. Mm. Doing eight points of damage. Ah. Uh. Do I have an advantage? No. Uh, Orc 5 is going to attack Baldwin. No, no, it's going to attack Eisensprite. Is that? Yeah, Eisensprite is by Orc 5, so... Um, 14 is going to hit, and... 5 using... And he does uh, 9 points of damage to Eisensprite. Nine. Yeah. And we got the dead crossbow guy and two archers. Fjord is right up. there. Which crossbow Fjord. guy is dead? The... the crossbow three is dead. Oh, okay. Fjord just killed him. Okay. Uh, Witness me smash Orton Boss and them. They should run and flee. Fuck it. That's I agree. Yeah, the, this guy's running. I mean, the other guy ran. Just, just slaughtered two <laughs> people. <running. clears throat> Sorry. Would think they'd be running away with poopy noises. Well, they actually kind of were. Yeah, I like Fjord. I like Fjord. Do you want to take a swing at this guy as he runs away? Huge thing that just appeared? Or Archer 3. You, you can swing at one of them. As they, All right, you got two guys right here. So you can swing at one of them as they turn to flee. No, actually not. They're going to disengage. They're using disengage to flee. So you can, don't get a swing at them. I'm good with that. 
All right, so Abiona, it's your turn. Okay, I was trying to write on my sheet. How do you write on my sheet? Okay, I'm gonna swing at Ox Seven. Can I just shoot him? He's far away enough. No, he's not. He's just right next to you. Ah, so swing. Put in the range damage. Mm. Well, Carolyn, can you um? Okay, thirteen does it hit? Which one? Thirteen. You miss. Again. Oh, uh, oh, Carolyn, <laughs> what do you want to yeah. do? You're up. Well, I don't like that weapon. You're healing. Um, I'm embarrassed, but the the hammer I use, it's a war hammer. To hit it says plus three. Damage 1d8 plus one. What does that mean? So what you want to do is first roll a... Um, Eight-sided die. No, 20-sided die to see if you hit. Okay, so may I ask, Orc 6 and Orc 7 are in front of me. And they're threatening Abiona and Baldwin. Yes. Which of yes. these two orcs is at the lowest strength, lowest power? Well, orc six has this big shuriken stuck in his eye, and he's like bleeding all over and kind of stumbling around a little bit. So he's not much of a damage. To, he's not much of a threat to Abiona. Oh no, orc he's still a level. threat. But if you if you finish him off, he's no threat. All right, then um, I will Orc swing. Seven is actually pretty beat up too. Both of them are beat up. Go after, you know, go it, after Claw, the magic user. Use use what? Uh, I T armor strength D E X W A S. What was that? I don't know. No, I just hit the wrong button on the character sheet. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I could either take a swing or I can use the magic, right? Yes. My gosh, spells. Um, shatter, 10 foot radius, all 3D, yeah. plus 1D. We've seen that's pretty uh, cool. That's going right. to hurt most. You guys are like all mixed up. So if you cast shatter, you're going to hit your friends. Okay, yeah, then I'm yeah, just yeah. going to have to swing my axe hammer at orc number seven. Roll 20. Yes. Yes. And I got a 20. Ooh. Um, yeah. yeah. Just describe what happens as your hammer smashes into orc seven. There's like no way you can not kill it, even if you roll minimum oh. rolls. You have to kill it because it's in the back of the head, and as you all know, orc brains are in the back of their heads, and their skulls are not very thick. So I hit him in the head. His ear basically becomes a tunnel to nothingness, and he falls down on the ground. His legs twitch in the air like little frog legs in a boiling pot of water, and he finds a magical red circle around him, and Abiona says, thank you. I turn around to Baldwin and say, thank ye. And Baldwin says, let me kill shit. Yes, I, and Baldwin, it is your turn. Don't kill shit. I, I, I do cool things. Okay, I'm stepping... Okay, which one... Okay, so you got it. Okay. I'm stepping up, and I'm going to bolt Claw. She deserves death. Okay. Um, you still have a spiritual hammer going, right? Yes. But I'm bolting her, and then I'll do my opportunity attack on uh, probably either her or six. I don't know what yet. Um, okay, so what are you using? Guiding uh, bolt. Guiding bolt. So I roll an attack. Um, mm. Eighteen okay, plus you, five. That hits. That's a hit. Okay. Yes. So uh, that'll be four d six. Not very much, but it's good enough. She's dead, right? She's dead. Twelve. Nope. I think you're and wrong. And you have a bonus action. Which is to... Um, uh, I'm going to spiritual her. 
roll your attack. Nice. The broken. silver hammer came down upon her head. And I believe that's a hit. Uh, nine, nine plus, plus what? Five is fourteen. Nine plus five. Yes, fourteen. You get plus five, really? Yes, that's my magic attack. Fucker, you hit her. Well, I'm not <laughs> sad about that. Uh, so well, go bad. ahead and take your nine points of damage. Okay. It is now... Uh, you want me to put turn. a red circle on her, right? No. <laughs> Not yet. I'm going, to, I'm going to drink one of my uh, healing potions from the ones that we bought in town. So what did I get? Is that a 1d6? 2d4 uh, plus 2. 2d4 plus 2? Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, Claw's turn. Seven points back. Okay. We can do that too. She's gonna like. He's gonna die. Claw comes charging at uh, Baldwin. Oh, she used her spells. Good. Um. Oh, I have to mark that off. I have to mark that. Damn it. Uh, so she claws you. Why would she do that? That's rude. But she missed. First attack misses. Second attack misses. Fuck you. Misses. Third attack misses. Three. Fuck. What the fuck, dude? Fourth attack misses. Oh, fuck. Four attacks. She, yeah, she had four attacks. All of them broke like shit, and all of them miss. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to rebuke her for that because she missed. Eisen Sprite, your turn. Die, Orc 5! Is that who's in front of me, Orc 5? Yes, Orc 5 is in front of you. See if I can hit him this time. 12 plus 4 is 16. You hit. All right. 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay. Still up. Still up, but, uh, bastard. Uh, Fjord, your turn. Go get Orc 5. It's from behind. Advantage on the attack. Roll 2d20. Two, two, two and for each one? Yeah, for each blow, you get to roll twice and pick the highest one. You That's have not like good. Oh, anyways, you hit him twice. Unless you want to roll two more and see if you get any crits. I'm happy with that. Well, one of them, I get a 19 um, double damage anyway for my whatever it is. So you get <laughs> like a you have a hammer and an axe that hit this, and can you describe what happens? as both the hammer and the axe come smashing and cleaving into this orc. This particular time, the axe will come straight down and cleave him in half, and the the hammer part will follow right on through and make sure he falls over like two logs on a stump. Okay. <laughs> two logs. And it is now... I got one orc left. Is that a is that a red uh, circle on orc six? Who did he just kill? No, that's on orc five. He killed orc five. Okay. I mean, he he. He cleaved it. it. It's it's absolute six. carnage on orc five. Yeah. Literally, it keeps orc removing orc the red. Right. What's going on? Okay. Orc six. Um, he's got Fizine. He's through the window. Orc 6 is going to uh, move over here and attack Baldwin from behind. And he will have advantage. Oh, he's a dick. Orc 6 is definitely mentally damaged. And he hits. Um... Oh, fucker. He does four points of damage to Baldwin. God damn it. I rebuke his got? ass. 
And so I, it's an attack or I do a save? It's a reaction. Um, you save for half damage. How much damage do you do? 2d10. All right, he dies. He only had one hit point left. So there's no way he can survive. Well, even I believe he, he took 18 points. I just needed to roll that. Well, let me just see if he saved. <laughs> he did not save. Well, good. He is a puddle. So, so 18 points is more hit points than he had when he was fully healthy. Yes. So can you describe what happened? <laughs> Well, and 18 hit points descend upon a guy okay. with only one hit left. He sucker no punched me from behind, and I just go, dude, that is so rude. Fuck you, your mother, your father, and your cousin Jeff. Kajoo! <laughs> and he dies. Because fuck that guy. It is Abiona's turn. So everyone dying. Claw is still clawing me. Claw is still alive. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, then I can shoot him from this distance. Do I have disadvantage? No, you do not. Okay, then I take a shot. I'm gonna turn my long bow so she doesn't hit and I, me. Yeah, I will tell Bowen to duck. And Carolyn is still down. No, no. He's short. He's, no, he's up. Roll. Oh, so okay. Way, can you clear your 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 tray and Abiona roll your twenty? Sixteen. Do I hit? That hits. Oh, good. Okay. Please kill Because I have it. plus seven. The longbow, and then uh, one d eight plus three. I think that's it. Ah, seven points. Seven point of damage. Okay, oh, Carolyn, it is your turn. Oh, kill the bitch, hey, kill the my, bitch, kill the bitch. My actions, I have a war hammer, a, a dagger, and Scott, a Scott, clear hammer. your tray. Yeah, use the heaviest weapon, which would be your war hammer, or war use ha a spell. Uh, war hammer, because the spell would hurt other people. So I take my Warhammer to claw Luthic's <laughs> skull. Roll the 20 sided die. Roll a 20 sided die. And I roll my die and I get 13. Seems to be my magic number. You, you hit. Go. Roll your damage. D8. Roll a D8. Eight sided die. Does he yeah. have a strength bonus? Yeah, he has a plus two strength bonus. So total is 20 points. No, he actually has plus one strength bonus. No, so that's a seven nice. plus one is eight more. Yeah, one D, eight plus one. Okay, so, and it is now Baldwin's turn. 21. Um, I'm going to smash her horrible, ugly face with my lovely, lovely spiritual hammer. Uh, that would be uh, a lot. 20-something. 20 23? Yeah, you hit. Okay. And, and can so, you describe what you want to do with this hammer? Is it well, the hammer is just going curves. to poise right above her head and then force damage straight down. The goal is to take the head and place it into the groin from above. And I believe... It doesn't quite do that but it does flatten her head and you see brains spurting out in all directions well I'll take it I'll take it and I'm not going to eat those brains that's disgusting Ain. Ain. okay oh yeah what do you want to do what time is it Okay, it's 11.30 for Paul. Okay. It looks like a whole bunch of this uh, building. Or, oh, that's not the building. That's, that's outside where he's got all those thousands of guys waiting for us. 
Well, it's the second floor, isn't it? See the stairs? Yeah. There could be more of the building over there. Yeah. I come back in. I have a sense I can sense. Go ahead. Those stairs go up or down? Stairs go up. Let's go up. Uh, who wants to go first? I want to check around downstairs just to make sure, or? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's do that. Is that's you can see we're starting to see more of the outline. There's a little bit more of this building. Um, I'm trying to look. I have something like I can sense. I know I can detect presence within 30 feet. If they're in the building, they should have heard the commotion. I mean, they did. Some more guys came in. One from above and others from this hall. I'm, I'm just looking at my uh, sheet. Art spells. Um, I saw something where I can detect the presence or figure out what's within 30 okay, feet or dead so. Guy. Look, there's a whole room. We just got to see that somehow. Oh, there's a slave. Ask her if uh, she knows where there's more orcs. It's a she or a de he? Yeah. You say it says like. <laughs> Is that a human or an orc? No, What's it's a goblin. It's a goblin. Oh, fuck oh, okay. Goblin. All right, I'm going to rescue the uh, goblin slave uh, by putting a. Uh, 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 I'm just going to smack him in the head with my mace and put him out of his misery because he's a fucking goblin. That sounds okay, very really your... racist. Roll. I hit. did. I, I, I rolled, and it was awesome. Ten. Pretty sure his AC is nothing. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, D6 plus one. So... Uh, so... Eight, eight points of damage. Kill it. He's dead. I don't feel bad about that, and that's weird, because I'm the I'm the guy who criticized certain other people from committing war crimes in a different game. You are. This was not a war crime. This is a mercy killing. He telepathically told me that. Please. Are those stairs going up where Eisensprite's at? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no, those are stairs outside. Oh, okay. Out the door. I'm not out sure you door, want to go out to the, the door. Back. Okay, There's how about where going this, out to the blue, back. this blue crap, is that a door outside or is, is that a door or a window? Which blue crap? In front of you? Behind yeah. the slave? Yeah, behind the slave. That's a broken window. Okay. Dead slave. I'm going to peek out slave. the window to see if anybody's out there. But I'm ducking down. Okay, nobody's out there. Okay. It looks like somebody's probably in the back door by Eisensprite. What with their, it being black there. B. Could be. No one's gone out the black. Going out the back door. <laughs> I can fight. You want to take a poke around the corner and see if there's anything there? I'm right there to help. Where happened to Hinkle? Well, where is his name was? He's outside. Nobody killed him. That's weird. <laughs> uh, he comes in and says, oh, you killed all the orcs. And he's looking around. Oh, my God, my buddy. Not all my of other them. buddy. Hold on, he's, he's Where's Big <laughs> Al? I don't see Big Al or Stewie. Where are the girls? There's one. <laughs> the bodies, kid. 
Some of these bodies were here forever. Are any of them your people? Yeah, they're my my friends from the ranch, but there's still some people we haven't found yet. Well, we go upstairs, we'll find them. Did Eisensprite see anything in the back where he's... Because he's right there. Oh, there's a well. Okay, that tells us we can just dump the bodies. There are already bodies in the well. They got in the room. All right, what so if they're th hiding it? These are stairs going up where I'm standing? Um, sorry. Okay, where uh, Baldwin's standing, are those no, stairs No, 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 Baldwin, this is, that's a wall. That's a dead end. Okay, then fuck it. Let's go upstairs, guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna on. check out the well. Yeah, there's a well. Anything in it? No, there's just Any a well. well. Just a well. Do you feel well oh. near the well? Or do you feel sick? Eyes and Sprite, can you roll a perception? <laughs> we still have hiding in there. Wait. Wait. Okay, uh, you're stupid. Sure he... Yeah, he, he All right, so you guys want to head upstairs? That's rude. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's going to take a while to load, so let's... Uh... Can, we, can we take a bath? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. I'll be right back. Good luck. Right. I am pressing Thanks. pause. I'm stopping the recording what now. Danger. From outside. Yeah. I have you like your character's outside. Yeah, it is outside. Why? Because, because I needed there. to put you on the map someplace when I set the map up. Yeah. What happened to my character? You put yourself into the dark. Uh, I didn't mean to. So you guys are, you guys come up on the second floor, and this is like a, a room. It's it's kind of trashed, a little bit trashed, but not as badly oh, trashed. Yeah. I don't think so. Why you would there be a? John? That's for K. Or he could have played. More than they did, they did not invent the piano until much later. What are you talking about? This is an alternate universe. Okay, so you're on the second floor. Yep. Apparently there's nothing in here. There's Joni. Except Joni. She's yeah. in the oh, sandwich room. Funny. So there's this, this woman on the bed, she's like, looks like abused, like very, very abused. Well, I'm going to let somebody um, else talk to her. And she can see that she's kind of like cowering on the bed and crying. And she's like beat up and her clothes are all ripped up. What's left of her clothes have been ripped up. So I guess I'm the only one that can talk to her. These are all guys. Well, guys can talk to girls, you know. I just wanted well, someone else to have the opportunity to role play with Michael's sandwich scene. Oh. 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 What? So, what anyways. I mean. Okay, uh, miss, are you okay? You don't look okay. And she's just. Uh... Is Clapper. Do you speak yeah. common? I, 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 I'm assuming you're, you've been a prisoner here. Is she chained or tied in any way? No, she has a mouth. Is she chained or tied to the bed no, in no, any way? No, she's not. She's okay. not. She's... Said, it's okay, miss. The orcs are all gone. And by all gone, I mean most of them are, are just dead. They they accidentally Ooh. died. Died. Killed them all by violence. Oh, you're Hinkle free. Can talk to her. Do you know Hinkle? I, I think this yes, is... I know Hinkle. Hinkle, where's, where's Hinkle? Hinkle's, where's Hinkle's, Hinkle's, outside. Outside. Hinkle's, Hinkle's, outside. Hinkle's outside. outside. Why don't you go to Hinkle? <laughs> 
Okay, it looks it's like definitely going to come up here. Well, there's nothing else up here. Is are those stairs going up or down? My the eyes stairs going right. down. Oh, okay. The corner. Yeah. The stairs. Where's Hinko? Okay, oh, Johnny, come on. Hinko. I mean, Miss, whatever your name is. My name is Baldwin. I know you've never but, seen someone as incredibly Johnny, handsome as me, but uh, we're let come with us. We'll get you out of here. Mm -hmm. And she's just she's, not her hysterical. she's You probably don't what want to stay in this house. Things to me. Okay. Say that again? I don't know what he said. The, the, the terrible things to do to me. Yeah, well we just did worse to them, so you come with us, we'll get you out of here. We have Alright, does anyone else want to do anything? So we see like half the parties at the other side of the room. Um, where's Hinko? I'm gonna find Hinko to help her. I'm gonna search this room. I don't want to look first character. I'm gonna search what? this room for goodies. This is not bad people's house. This, the, everything belongs to someone. You cannot steal things from here. Not my then house. we're stealing. I want to search this room. Early. This is Sorry, Joanne's house. Is this your home? I can ask her. Is this your home? Yes, I, I live here at the ranch. Okay. So this where's is your where's home. the sheriff? Where's the sheriff? Okay, I perceived. Is, it, what's his name? is there anything in here? I mean, there's a book, there's a what? A cupboard or wardrobe and. I don't know, desks, end tables, or I don't know, stuff. Looks like there's chest over there. It's big bed, double bed. I just don't want to ra um, waste this roll. Oh, you're 20? Where the, what are you looking for in particular? Um, uh, uh, treasure the orcs have left. Like the girl? I mean, okay, in particular, gonna... what are you searching for? Are you searching for anything in particular? I'm searching for anything in oh, particular. Secret doors, where do you want to secret search? stash, all sorts of stuff. It's a general search. Tell me where you want to search. This you can room. Pick one place. You can't just say the room. You pick one place in the room you want to search for. Or what in particular are you searching for? All right, I'll, I'll search this corner. Where the Ouija board is. And you don't find anything in particular. Um, did uh, Silly Wanker, did you want to do anything? Oh, Carolyn, Eisensprite, the people who are on the other side of the, the floor? Yeah, we checked out the place. Don't see any orcs. So no, there are no orcs up, up here. here but, but you can see that it looked like the orcs were kind of camping out in the bedrooms earlier. You know, the ones who came down from above seemed like they were camping yeah. out in these bedrooms. Yeah. They're kind of foul and stuff. They they're, they must be cultured. They play chess and uh, cards and and yeah. way G. Where's mm -hmm. Hinko? Put him back in here. I uh, just like imagine Hinko is there and what do you, okay, you can play so Hinko with the rain, rain if you want. So Lorraine, you can be Hinkle. Hinkle can How about comfort, that? He can comfort the girl. And yeah, okay. Let's get the girl okay, out Hinkle. of here. Let's go find Big and Al. Saying, why, why would yeah, she Hinkle. go out? This is her home. What? She's traumatized. She needs medical attention. Then and we there's find still, her, there are still orcs in the area. Pets? All the dead bodies on the yes. first floor. Well, she's got to get out, dude. I mean, we can take Why? her down the okay, other anyways. stairs. You need shelter. This is her home. Lorraine, there's dead bodies everywhere, and there are still loot. There are orcs loose. <laughs> loot. Remember the guys loot. who Wait, ran away? Brian's mind is is at. No, it doesn't make sense. If you kill all the orcs, this is her home. We stay. didn't kill all the orcs. Clean Some of them ran away. Her. They're getting reinforcements. Clean up body. If we leave the girl in the house, 
The orcs will come back and hurt her. Let's go it find the sheriff. If they just raided the place and they got what they want and they leave. That's We're, how orcs work. I'm works. pretty sure. Where are we taking her? Place and, we and, gotta, and make no. Uh, we we place. give we hand her off to Hinkle. That's his problem. Yeah. We just tell Hinkle it. to come up. Yeah. And we already killed all the bad guys. But uh, I think we should help when we moving the bodies. I want to find Big Al and get a reward for killing all those orcs and rescuing <laughs> the damsel. Looks like there's a basement here. We got to go see the. Go Where's see the, basement. the basement? You found store stairs going down. No, it's on the outside. Looks like a storm shelter basement. Oh really? Okay. All right, we'll do that. Any more? That is at the piano. Yeah, I see it now. Well, let's go there. <clears throat> we'll go down into the storm cellar. Okay. Okay, Hinka will stay with her, and we will go clear yes. the basement of any more ox if there's any more. There's always storm more cellar. Orcs. The storms. Okay. Well, there's lots down here. It's um. Is it loaded yet? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, we're on this. I'm on the stairs. There, there you go. Silly wankers first. Hello. No, I'm not first. You're you're the first one on the <laughs> stairs. Oh no, that's the going. You're last. Okay. Okay, that sounds better. <sighs> oh, Carolyn, does he see anything in the darkness where he's standing? Uh, do I have that as one of my powers then? You guys are um, all loaded up. Yes. We'd be loaded. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I, I, I cast a cure wound on myself. Can you see now or not? I, see I can see Dagbert, Jenny, Lizzie, Kamina. Can you see that, Michael? Michael. Yeah, they're hiding. These are the hiding people. No, I don't think they're. I think they're prisoners. Go ask them. Okay, so right. there's like a there's like a guy tied up in a chair. Lizzie and Kamina are beat up and really abused, and Finney and Dagbert are tied up. Okay. Okay. We free them. Is, is there anything else down here besides them? Uh -huh. And help find the wound. <laughs> and so. And you see that the Finney says, like, who are you? And then Hinkle comes down and says, oh, I found Finney, Dagbert, Lizzie, Kamina, you're still alive. And then they come here and go like, who are you? Where's Jenny? Who's the guy up tied there. up in the middle? Oh, Stewie. Okay. There's a guy tied up here. It's Big Al. It's Tower. Okay, we asked this, uh, Stewie, he seemed to be the leader, why would the orcs attack you guys? It's the orcs, that's what they do. Yeah. And so you free these guys. And so <laughs> looking around here, you see this is a cellar. And um, there, there are shelves on the wall, and on the shelves are these wax-covered skulls. Um, obviously, this is like the butter. Um, okay. There's a big metal door behind Silly Wanker. Oh, we'll open it. You mean yes? Just open it up. Any more prisoner inside? Is the metal hot or warm to the touch? You want to go check it? Sure, I will put my hand on the metal door. Is it hot or warm to the touch? People. No, it's not. Any more, any more people trapped behind the door? It says, Stewie, Stewie goes, don't 
Don't try to open the fucking door. Because? Why, what's in there? And, um... Untie. You got here late after... You got here late afternoon, and now it's, like, getting towards evening. Oh. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> untie <laughs> Finny and Dagbert. Yeah, yeah we untie these guys. explain the reason. Why shouldn't we open no the door? Just, just don't open the door. It's not a good, good idea to open that door. Is it why the orcs attack you? I don't know why these orcs attacked us, but they... I don't know. Maybe Is it because, because uh, there's something behind been, the door they want? Maybe oh, because we've open. been hunting them. Well, they are oh, orcs. Open. That makes sense. Oh. I have a detect thoughts ability the sheriff, is, the sheriff do you still have a second level spell left, Tim? Or um Yeah, did you I have cast a one thoughts. One did you cast eight, did you cast thoughts. one shatter or two shatters? I only cast one no. shatter. Cast it oh, once. Yeah, so you still have the tech yeah. sure. I have detect thoughts, yeah. Bad so idea to open. Is thinking. I want to so detect you... what is what is Stoke, Stewie thinking. Uh, so I have to make a save, right? Yeah. No, actually, I don't. Uh, actually, he fails. So, anyways, um, Stewie's thinking of uh, his lover and danger and. Open the door. Wolves. Wolves. Uh, evil is uh, back. Werewolves. I nah, he just door. said wolves. No, I oh, think wolves. behind the door is a werewolf. That his, no. his lover change into... <laughs> you can probe deeper. Not is least the... Is it today? Sorry? Is it full moon today? Well, it was the day before the full moon yesterday, and you can feel it's like starting to get late. Okay, and, so it's and a it feels like the sun right, is setting. All right, we gotta tie up Rat Boy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's the werewolf or the the wolf werewolf. No, Rat Boy. We have a Rat Boy amongst us. More than one. Yeah. With or without his pants. Oh, shit. We got to tie him up. You guys want to keep playing? Uh, we should do a long rest here. We're going to tie Rat Boy 1 and Rat Boy 2 up. Do you want to keep playing or do you want to break here? So uh, Yeah, break there's... here. Break here. We'll yeah. take so a long rest there's... here. There's no... I don't think it's there. You don't can't really take a long rest now. I mean, there's stuff to do, now and so we can either finish up. I don't know how much longer it'll take. It you know we can finish up, but just with a little kind of like role playing and social interaction, or else we can just stop here for tonight. What do you guys want to do? You want to keep playing? Uh, yeah. I think it's too late for them. I go either way. Okay, it's you uh, could potentially midnight. finish the level. It's midnight for Paul right now. And it's 1 p.m. for us, and we we'll have to consider making lunch. Yeah, it's also lunch hour. Okay, Michael, let's go ahead and stop here, and we'll okay, finish and out so we'll just pick next up here week. Next time. Yeah. Okay. And so what you should do is level up to level four. So you've you've defeated the enemy, um, and yeah, you've defeated the enemy. There are no more orcs to fight on this on this map. And but so behind the iron gate, it, the door is the were it. Then what is that? <laughs> the 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 What's that? So all this left there's to do is just to talk. What's going to do? What we're going to do next? 
yeah, this you, to talk with these people who are in the basement. So that's all that's left with this level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, and the next time you will be okay. level four for whatever adventures you have in the future. Well, there you have it. That was Fandolin Land of Opportunity. I have been your host, Brian David Phillips. And uh, your dungeon master was Michael Jung. Hope you enjoyed that. Click the like, the share. You know all the stuff to do. But mostly for now, just live trance and prosper. See you next time.